I can't wait to pick you up in it, LOL. LOL, awesome. You hang out with older guys? Yeah, I talk to anyone as long as they aren't assholes. Cool. Well, I'm 32, just so you know. That's cool. I'm 13, but turning 14 next month. Is that okay? It's okay. Age is just a number to me. Love knows no age. I agree. I hate people judging me because of my age. I'm more mature than half the adults in no. LOL. Yeah, I know young girls who are much more mature than women my age. I connect more with young girls. I like goofing off a lot. As long as you are fun and not a jerk, I'm happy. I'm not a jerk. Just a nice guy who often finishes last. I gotta change classes. Can we talk soon? I like nice guys. Yeah, we can talk later on the phone. I'm Joshua. I'm Bailey. Well, nice to meet you, Bailey. You too. I'll kick you in a little while. Cool. We'll have fun in school. Talk to you later. Bye. How's school? Driving around. Shopping. LOL. I took this a couple weeks ago. We could be twins. Peekaboo. How old were you when you first did it? Have you ever gave your boyfriend a blowjob? Sucking his dick? I was 19. No, nothing like that. Have you ever done it with someone who hasn't done it yet? Yeah, one time. I just took it super slow on her. She was 15 and super tight, like I'm sure you are. Almost immediately, she got used to it and begged me to screw her harder. All this talk of sex is getting me horny. LOL, but you're at work. I know, but I'm driving around with my dick hard. Thanks, Jenna. You got me super hard. Wishing you could suck my dick right now. LOL, you're welcome. Send me a video. Stupid phone won't record vid anymore. I got one saved of me singing, but it sucks. I don't want to send it. Send it. I'm sure you are good. Just want to see you. Seriously, it's bad. I don't know why I even kept it. Come on. I'm sure you look adorable singing. I don't think so. Promise me, if you hate it, you won't tell me. Okay, I promise. Uh, it's too big to send. LOL, okay. How else can I send it? My AC broke down yesterday. I'm on my way to Home Depot to buy a new AC. Grr. I have to spend money. I don't know how else to send it. Do you have an email address? I do. What's yours? I'll send it. I'm sorry you have to spend money. Piedpiper212 at gmail.com. Okie doke. I'll send it. Mwah. Okay. It's sent. Okay. I love the video. You look amazingly gorgeous. You are so sexy. Good night. Good morning, princess. I miss you, baby. Good morning. Have a good day at work. You too, baby. Send me a picture every day. It keeps me going. I want some pics of you too, though. Yes, of course. You are the boss. What are you working on today? Sprinkler inspections. I drive from job to job, signing a book. That's it. Sexy, you seem to be getting more beautiful in every picture you send. Also love the video you sent me. Got me super hard. I'm glad. I was nervous that you would think it sucked. I want to see a full body picture. No, I loved it. I have one of me at the pool. Want that one? Yeah. Mmm, so sexy. Really? I don't think so. Yeah, you have a great body. You're sweet to say that. Just being honest with you. Next pick you send, will you take your glasses off so I can see your eyes? Okay. Pretty please? Yes, anything you want, boss. LOL, I'm not the boss. You're the boss, LOL. I, I know you are, but what am I? Duh, the boss. No, I want you to be the boss. 
well, 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 well. No. Your mom never lets you go out, right? So how will I get to meet you? I don't know. She just got a boyfriend, so I'm hoping they'll go out and leave me at home. I can drive up to you one day, and we'll drive around and make out. I can't go to your house. Why not? And if your mom comes back and I'm there, I could get in serious trouble and go to jail. I don't want that. That's why I'd pick you up and we'd drive somewhere private where we could make out and have sex if you wanted. Okay, you're the boss. LOL. Okay, then we will have sex since I'm the boss. LOL. You were going to ride my dick and love it. But you're going to go slow, right? So it doesn't hurt? Yeah, I'll go slow. And yes, it will hurt. Will anything make it not hurt? My tummy's all nervous thinking about it. I'm scared of shots. I don't like pain. No, since you are a virgin, try masturbating. Sticking your finger in your vagina in and out until you get wet. Okay. I have a dumb question. How do you not get pregnant? You have to make sure that the guy wears a condom. And before the guy come, he needs to pull out. I'm not buying those. Oh my god, I would die of embarrassment. And no money, duh, lol. I have condoms. Okay, good. Uh, I gotta go. Gotta get stuff for school tomorrow. Talk later. Mwah, 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 mwah. Yes, of course, princess. Moaz times 100. I'm gonna miss you, baby. Be back soon. Okay, honey. Is it okay to call you, or can you call me? I'm at dinner, and tomorrow is first day of school, so I gotta get in bed early. Good night. Sleep tight. Good night. Hey, hope you were having a good day at school. Send me a picture of you at school. Today sucked. Fuck my life. I didn't take any pics at school. I'll try to remember tomorrow. Miss you. Thought about you all day. Gotta go eat. Bye. Aw, baby, don't be sad. I missed you so much, too. Miss you so bad. I hate my life. Can I call after Mom goes to bed? Yeah, call me. About what time is that? I don't know. Want me to text first? No, you can call me anytime, my love. You don't need to text me for permission to call. You are my girlfriend, and you can call whenever. Even though you look sad in that picture, you were still very beautiful. Oh. Hey. Good morning, baby. I miss you, and I'm falling in love with you, by the way. Oh, really? Do you really mean it? How was your day today? Miss you, miss you, miss you. Yeah, I mean it. I think about you all the time. I see young girls in the street, and I wish it was you. The picture isn't clear. I know. I was playing with a pick. It's like a color pencil drawing. I thought it was cool. I think of you, too. Looking so good, baby. Can we talk tonight? I'm still working, unfortunately. I'll try to call you if I can. I'd like to talk to you. Gonna go dinner with my mom and her new boyfriend tonight. Ugh. Aw, oh, you remember the glasses so I can see your eyes. You're so silly. Yeah. I love you, princess. Love you, boss. LOL. LOL. I'm the boss now. Yep. Told you that the other day. You never listen, LOL. Okay, baby. You were right. LOL. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, I just got in. Mom made me leave my phone at home today. How was your day? Hi. Okay, ignore me. I'm going to delete your number. Nice talking to you. Have a good life. Yep, I thought you would have responded by now. Yeah, we are finished. I can't wait days to talk to you. I'll find someone else to talk to. Goodbye again. I miss you, baby. I wish we could communicate with me more. I'm really sorry. Fucking mom didn't pay for our cell phones or our cable and net, so I couldn't even tell you. I just got my phone on. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Do you hate me? No, I love you, baby. Just missed talking. I did, too. I'm so sorry. 
I hate her so bad I just cried for days. I'm so sorry. I wish I could comfort you in person. I wish you could too. Mmm, I'd kiss you all over. You look good on Instagram. You're so sweet. I'm just honest. I find you so sexy. I'm sure boys at your school think the same thing. They're nice and all, but meh. You are right. I made a couple friends, but the boys are kind of stupid. They don't talk to me like you do. Yeah, they are young, and they don't know how to treat a girl yet. No kidding. Send me pictures. Your turn. Send a full body picture. Are you okay? I'm okay, lol. Just horny. Oh, oh. Because I thought I'd sent you a pic of me like that. No, you didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll look. Yummy. Baby, you turn me on. Really? I so thought you were mad at me because of my phone. I feel so bad. I'll never be mad at you, baby. You're my princess. I love you, baby. So I assume you can't call me. I really want to make love to you. I can't right now. Can I call you later? Is that okay? Do you mean it? Yes, I mean it. Remember I told you my mom had a new boyfriend? Yeah. I heard him talking the other day about wanting to go out of town. Tell them to go to New York City. Why? So I can see you. What, you think they would leave you home alone? I'm hoping. Cross fingers. Has your mom ever left you home alone for a few days before? Not for a few days, but I was lots younger when she went out of town before. Cool. Hopefully she leaves you again. Mmm. I'll come over and cuddle and make love to you. You live in a house or apartment? House. Cool. Battery almost dead, but they went to the store for beer. Can I call fast? Yeah. Good night. Good morning. Sorry, fell asleep. It's okay. I'm at lunch. How's your day? I'm okay. I'm just working hard. Thank God it's Friday. LOL. Yeah. Being silly at lunch. LOL. Cutie. What you doing? You're not driving. No, I'm in a basement working. Sounds fun, except not. LOL. Mm, you are so sexy. You're so crazy. I like it. I have to go to a party tonight with my mom. Not allowed to take my phone. She doesn't want me to be rude. Okay, have fun. I'm still working, unfortunately. Oh, that sucks. Just got in from the party and wanted to tell you goodnight. I feel like you're upset with me. You don't talk much like you used to. Um, you said you were leaving your phone home for the party. Yeah, I work long hours, too. We have different schedules, that's all. I mean, during the day and stuff. Just afraid that because my phone was off for so long that you quit liking me so much. During the day, I work. You, I can't look at my phone too much at work. It distracts me. But when I have time, I do message you. It's okay. I just miss you. Dito! That means I do, too. Or, like, was. I'm gonna go to bed. Sweet dreams. Good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Hey. Hey. What you do today? About to go for a drive. I'm going shopping with Mom. She's shopping for her trip. When is she going on her trip? Hey, we're shopping again today. I think it's going to be like, not this weekend, but next. They still haven't talked to me. They act like I can't hear through the bedroom walls. Okay, so if they leave you behind, I'll come over and we'll have sex. You really mean it? Yeah. Pinky swear? Yeah. You okay with having sex? You said you would go slow, right? And you won't hurt me? No, nah, I won't hurt you. Then yes, I'm okay with it. I'll kiss you over and over, even down there, and get you wet. Send me that bath suit picture. That one? Yeah. Do you have any more? Let me look. 
Mm, you are so sexy. Mmm, nice body. Thank you. I miss you. I can't wait to see you. Me too. So you think your mom will leave you for the whole weekend? Sounds like it. No one here to watch me and my dad would flip if he knew. Cool. So you're sure you can come down? Up, oh, whatever. Yeah, just need your address then, so I know how to get there. Okay, I'll listen out tonight and see if I can find out more. Okay. Can't wait to kiss you, hold you. Me too. You're so pretty. Oh my god, I'm so excited I can't stand it. Oh yeah, you get me horny. I found this the other day and thought of you. Aw, oh, baby. I miss you so bad when my phone was dead. I miss you more, princess. I want to see you naked. You know I'll get in bad trouble. And if she finds out, she won't let me stay home alone. You can take the picture, then delete it right away. I'm too scared she'll find out. If she takes my phone, I can't talk to you or my dad. Okay, I understand. I'm so sorry. I want to make you happy, but I don't want to ruin my chance to see you for real. Okay, don't worry. I am happy. If you're happy, I'm happy, boss. Smiles. Hey. Hey, you boss. How are you? Happy. How are you? So when I come over, we'll go to your room and you'll take all your clothes off since I'm the boss. Wink. Okay, you're the boss. Moi. Moi, 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 moi. On a scale of one to ten, how happy are you? What? Six. You get four points when we meet. Okay, that's fair, I guess. Yes, it is. I gotta go shower for bed. School tomorrow. Ugh. Good night, boss. Good night, princess. Hey! At lunch, miss you. Hey, baby, I miss you too, sexy. Having a food day so far? Good, not food, lol. Lol, it's okay. I think I heard them say they're going next weekend. I'm just gonna have to ask her tonight. Hate that they don't talk to me. This weekend or next weekend being two weekends? Not the end of this week, the end of next week. Oh, okay, nice. And do you know what day they're leaving? Because if they leave Friday, I can come Friday night. I'll find out and let you know. Gotta go so I don't get my phone taken. Hey, baby. Hey, boss. Can you call me now? One sec, okay? Okay. Can only talk for a minute. Hiding in my closet, but supposed to be doing homework and cleaning. Okay. You there? Yeah. So, I finally talked to my mom. Okay. If I'm good and don't talk sassy to her and do my homework and do a list of chores that she made for me, I can stay here. Okay, for how many days is she going away for? I don't know yet. We didn't get that far. I'll find out more tomorrow. Ooh, it's 11-11. Make a wish. I did. Good night, sweetie. Night, boss. Sexy. No, you are. No, you are. I know you are, but what am I, LOL? I freaking miss you. You make me so happy. Can't wait to give you lots of hugs and kisses. Send me pictures in school. I miss you, too. I didn't take my phone today. How's your day? It was good. Your pictures had me so horny today. My dick was so hard thinking about you. I missed you. Moi. I'm so excited that we are going to hang out. Me too. When did you say you could come? When your mom goes away. That's the only time we could hang out since she doesn't let you go out. I know she'll be gone for the weekend, but I don't know when she's leaving. Well, you have to call me as soon as she leaves, then I'll start driving to you. I will. Oh my god, this is really happening. I'm so excited. Yeah, me too. You are so sexy. I'm a lucky man. No, I'm the lucky one.
This dick is all yours. Send me a picture, baby. Oh my god, you are beautiful. You are too sweet. I'm just being honest. LOL, I love your face. I want you to dress for me in a short skirt when I come over. Okay, I can do that. With no underwears on. LOL, I always wear panties, though. I'll take your panties off myself, as well as all of your clothes. LOL, you're making me blush. Good. Means you were happy. I am very happy. I'm going to kiss you all over, even down there. And you are going to love it. Can't wait to taste you. My tummy has butterflies. Oh, yeah? Good. Are you going to be able to not get me pregnant? Yeah, I'll wear a condom. Okay, thank you. Mm, I'm so horny right now. Not much longer now. Yeah, we'll finally make out and make love. I was thinking of staying over and just leaving in the morning. You could do that? Of course I can. Just want to be sure your mom will be home the next morning. They're going for several days. Just don't know when they plan to leave. Cool. So I'll stay over and we'll cuddle all night. You make me so happy. You make me more happier. It's too bad you aren't old enough to marry. I would marry you. Really? How old do you have to be to be married? Eighteen. In six years, you can't, but I doubt you would want to marry me then. I'll be much older. You don't know. I might. I like you a lot. I hope so. I just hope your mom doesn't find out about me, because I could get in serious trouble. You know, right? I could go to jail. I know love knows no age, but most people don't think the same. Joshua, she cares so little about me. I mean... I'm glad she's leaving me home, but I don't think she's a good mom. She just wants to be with her boyfriend now. I think that's so bad. I would take care of you if I could legally. I wish you could. She didn't used to be like this. You should tell your father after our weekend together. What's he going to do? He already told her he wanted me to live there. Maybe he could fight for custody. He deploys, so... He says the judge would hold that against him, and they say I'm too young to tell them what I want. That sucks. Yeah, but I don't want to think about that. I want to be happy about us. Yeah, just think about us. I'll try to keep you happy. My princess deserves to be happy. How do you plan on eating while she's gone? She's leaving you food, I hope. Yeah, she's leaving me money so I can get delivery. I can cook. Okay, cool. So what time will you have to leave when you come? Well, I'm figuring your mom will leave Friday after work, so I drive up Friday and leave Saturday afternoon. You have room in your bed for me? Okay, cool. So you wouldn't have to leave first thing in the a.m. Yay. Yeah, but you're really tall, though. We have a guest bed that will fit you. Yeah, I'll stay until the afternoon Saturday. Yeah, you'll sleep with me in the guest bed. How tall are you again? You got it, boss. I'm almost five foot, on tippy toes, lol. Your, your mom should go away more often. That's okay. I still love you, baby. If I'm good this time, I bet she will. Lol, I would hope so. I can grow, you know. Even if you didn't grow, I'd still love you. You were beautiful. Aww. So can we have dinner together when you come? Yeah, why not? You cooking? I don't know. What do you like? Whatever you're cooking, I like. Okay, I can't cook a lot of stuff, but I'll try. Hey, I have to jump in the shower. I'll text you when I get out. Let's just order food together so you don't have to do any cleaning. Just want you to relax. Okay. I'm back, honey. Me too. I gotta go organize the pantry. Okay, I'll be here when you get back. Okay, okay. Goof morning, baby. I love you. Have a good day at school, sexy. Hey, boss. Missed you. I, I missed you, too. I thought about you all day. I bet I thought about you more. Oh, yeah? Prove it. LOL. I don't know how, but I did. So when I see, what are you going to do to me? I'm going to kiss your face all over. 
Do you have to shave for your job? I'm going to shave. You like facial hair? Yeah. I want you to beard me, LOL. LOL. I wish I did have a beard, but my facial hair doesn't grow in full. Guess you'll just have to kiss my soft, smooth face. You shave down there. I like it smooth down there. I'm going to trim my down there, too. That'll be perfect, LOL. I don't shave. I don't have much hair. That's good you don't have much hair. Makes me feel like a baby, though. You are my baby. Yes, I am. And you are a sexy girl. When you get older, you are going to be so hot. Are you just saying that to make me not feel bad because I don't have hair? No, trust me, it's better not to have hair. I wish I didn't have hair down there. That turns me on more that you have no hair there. I gotta go help with dinner and do more of my chores. I'll text you goodnight before I go to bed. Okay, baby, I'm going to miss you. Good night, boss. I don't like being called boss. I'm so sorry. What do you like to be called? Good night. Will do. I thought about it. I'd like you to call me Poppy, pronounced Poppy or Daddy. I love you. Have a good day at school. I like that, Poppy. Love you, too. I love you. Have a good day at school. Can you give me your home address so I can see how long it will take me to drive there? I like that, Poppy. I love you, too. How was your day? It was okay. Still working. Can you give me your address so I can see how long of a drive I have? Thought about you the whole day. Can you call me? It's going to take three hours to get to you. I don't know if I want to drive that long. Maybe I'll just take a train there. Just need to know your address so I can start planning. One sec. I'll call. Almost dinner. Mm, you have such a sexy voice. Just want to kiss you right now. I want to get kisses. Next week, I'll kiss you, give you lots of hugs, make love to you, and give you a full body massage. I would like that a lot. And we'll cuddle all night Saturday as well. And maybe I'll stay till Sunday morning. Just need to know for sure when they are coming back. They're coming back Monday afternoon or night, so I'm going to skip school. Oh, cool. So I could stay till Sunday. If you want. I want to spend as much time with you as possible. I would like that. I want to have you here as long as I can. Yeah, we could watch movies, cuddle, kiss, take a shower together. It'll be fun. What kind of movies do you like? I like action and romantic movies. Whatever you like, I like. Have you seen Furious 7 yet? Yeah, I did. But I would like to see it again. You have that movie? I don't have it. Okay. Do you have cable? I think we have satellite. Okay. That's fine. I have to jump in the shower. Can you text me the address? I'm scared. Can I send it after they leave, please? Pretty please? LOL. I need to prepare. Plan. Now, okay, fine. Then I won't come. Please don't be that way. I'm just scared. I'm in Fairfield. If you let me know when you get off the train, I can give it to you. I told you I won't come until you told me they left. You weren't giving me time to prepare if I wait. If you wait until they leave. I'm not going three hours away until I get your address and I plan accordingly. Okay, how much time do you need to plan? One week. Really? I have to look at train schedules, take extra money for taxi from train station to you. Have to be sure I take the right train. Fairfield is huge. I'm curious to see how long it will take to get to you. If you don't give me time to prepare, then I'm not coming. I've never been there before, so I have no idea how hard it will be to get from the train station to you. Don't worry about it right now, but I expect you to give it to me by Sunday. Please don't be mad. I'm scared to get in trouble. Okay, well, I'm more scared than you. You would only get in trouble. I would go to jail. I don't want that. Yeah, so I'm taking a huge leap. Just want you to understand that. So please send that address when you can. Like I said, I want to know already how long it takes to get there. You aren't taking me serious. So until you send that address, I'm done talking. Good night. I'm sorry. I was mad before, but okay, just send me the address a few days before next Friday, sweetheart. I really want to meet you. And it will only take me one hour 
to get to you, so I will drive to you in my car. Send me the address next Friday. It's okay, baby. I really want to make you happy, so please forget I got mad. I will make it up to you in kisses. Hey, baby, I'm home thinking about my beautiful girlfriend, you. I miss you, baby. I'm thinking about you all day, hoping you are not mad at me. Hey, baby, I miss you. Hey, baby, I'm home thinking about my beautiful girlfriend, you. Hey, Poppy. Hey, I was starting to wonder about you. I was kind of scared to text because you were so mad. I'm sorry for being mad. I wasn't thinking straight. Forgive me? It's okay. I forgive you. I'm sorry you thought I was being mean. I was just trying to be careful. I don't want either of us to get in trouble. Yeah, I understand. And thanks for being cautious and forgiving. I don't like fighting. Do you have a garage in your house to park a car? Yeah, but it's full of stuff. We don't park cars in there. Okay, how's the parking situation over there? Lots of cars parked down your street? No, there's no street parking. We have a driveway for like two cars. Okay, so I'll park there. If I find parking in street, I will park it on block. The driveway is fine. We don't know anyone, so no one cares. Not like where we used to live, where everyone knew you was in our business. Got new tires on my car. Just need to wash him. Him being my car. LOL. What kind is he? He's Bumblebee from the Transformer movie. I am looking for a Transformers Chrome logo to glue onto my car. Cool. Did you have a good day at work? Yeah, I did. How was your day? Cool. It was okay. Happy it's Friday. Yeah, next Friday I'll be there in person. I know, I know, I know. I can't wait. This week is gonna drag by. Yep. Sleeping? Not yet, but I'm sleepy. Good night, Poppy. You better not be sleepy Friday when I'm there. I'll keep you up, LOL. Oh my god. I'll be too excited to sleep all next week. Yep. Good night, baby. Send me a picture tomorrow. Good morning, beautiful girlfriend. Hey, Poppy. I'm sick. Running a fever. I've been in bed all day. Aw, oh, poor baby. I hope you feel better by Friday. I mean, hope you get better ASAP. Me too. I'm going to take more meds and go back to sleep. I don't want to take any chances not being able to see you. Okay, baby. I miss you. Get better. I miss you more. No, I miss you more. You wish. No, you wish. Sex will make you feel better. Just need to sweat it out. Is that right, Dr. Poppy? Yes, it is. It's also a good workout. Got up to get some water and meds. Good night, Poppy. Good night. Wow, I didn't hear my phone. Sorry for the super late response. Good morning. Hope you're feeling better. Good morning. I miss you so much. Hope you are okay. Text me when you have a chance. Good morning and have a good day. Baby, I'm worried about you. Hope you are feeling better. Text me when you can. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry. I'm feeling better. I just came and started on my chores so I didn't make mom mad. I knew if I turned my phone on, I wouldn't do my chores. She's a little crabby today, so I didn't want to take any chances. How was your day? It went well. How was your day? So is your mom leaving Friday? Yep. What time do you get off work? I get out at 4, but I don't get home until 6. What time is she leaving? I think after I get home from school. She should be gone by four. I can text you when she leaves. And I need the address, too. I'll text it to you when she leaves, okay? Okay, so I might not get to you until nine-ish. And depending on how far in Connecticut you live, I won't know how long it will take. Why can't you just send me the address now and then delete it right away? Okay, are you going to eat before you come? I don't want to argue. Yeah, most likely, since I will get to you late. Okay, then I'll go on and eat. Do you like cupcakes? I want to know how far it is. Can you send me the address now? Your mother hasn't found out you were talking to me, so she won't find out you sent me the address. Hang on. Mom's talking to me. 
Sorry, I forgot to do something she wanted me to do, and it's almost time to eat. If you give me your address, I'll tell you how far it is, and then I'll give you the address when I'm at lunch on Friday. Is that okay? Okay, fair enough. Just won't have much time to plan the trip. 1534 Myrtle Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, 11237. Friday, send me your address, just like I sent you mines with the zip code. Remember, I want you to wear a short skirt for me. It's nothing fancy. Just pack some clean underwear, I remember. I have a couple picked out for you. Yes, I will. Mm, four more days and I'll be kissing you. I'll stay with you till Sunday. Can you send me, can you send me a quick picture? Mwah. I gotta go eat and finish my chores. I can't wait to see you. Mwah, sexy girlfriend. Mwah, sexy poppy. Mmm, you turn me on. Good morning, I miss you. Have a good day, baby. The anticipation is building. I'm so excited to finally meet you and hold you. Hey, Poppy. My day is awesomeness. How's yours? I can't wait. I hope this week passes fast. Mwah, 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 mwah. So about one hour, 30 minutes to get to you. Not baby sexy. Not bad sexy, I meant to say. Love you, Poppy. Gotta put my phone up so I don't get busted. Okay, sexy. Have a good day at school. Hey. Hey, how's your day? It was good. How was your day? Hey, what's up? Hey, Poppy. Just doing homework and did my chores. Thinking about you. Could finally afford to have a family of my own. Huh? I think I only got part of your message. Looking so beautiful. You just got a new job offer working in the plumber's union making $35 an hour. I'm happy. Um, going to be making a lot more money soon. I could finally afford to have a family of my own. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. If you were old enough, I would have married you immediately. Do you mean it? I do mean it. Just two more days. Yeah, I'm happy. I could finally kiss you, hold you, make love, make love to you. I'm so excited. I have butterflies in my tummy. Aw, uh, I even shaved down there. Did you really? I have to go take a shower. You gonna be up in 30 minutes? Yeah. I sure am. I'll be talking to my boyfriend. Talking, kissing, cuddling. I'm back. Hey, Poppy. So on Friday, I most likely will be at your house by 10. But have to be sure you will stay awake until I get there. Of course I will. Why so late? I thought it was only an hour or so away. But I have to do things before I head to you. I will rush, but I'm saying the latest I will be there. It also depends on traffic. Pick your favorite skirt and wear it for me. Okay, I understand. I will def wait up. LOL, I'm still trying to pick the right one. You will have me until Sunday morning. So you sure your mom isn't coming back until Monday? I'm sure. Okay, good. You making me cupcakes? Yeah, I have plenty of time now. Yeah, cool, I like them. I want you to have dinner before I get there since it will be late. Okay, I'll eat before you get here. Okay, good. How was school today? It was okay. Still not great, but not so bad. So you still have a cold? Hello? I'm feeling much better. Okay. I'll make you feel better. I'll give you a massage. Be right back. Got a shower. Okay. Oh my god. My mom won't leave me alone. She kept me up most of the night talking about my dad and their problems and how it's not her fault. Everything is so different now. And she won't shut the fuck up tonight either. Good night, sweet poppy. Hey. Hey, poppy. I got a bad headache and I'm laying down. Hey, have you ever gotten your period yet? I haven't. Do you think that's why I'm having a headache? I don't know. That means when you have sex, you won't get pregnant. If you were having your period, you would have been more likely to get pregnant. I'm jumping in shower. Be right back. Can you please send me your address now so I can start planning now? If you send it tomorrow, I will definitely be there super late. I can try to leave earlier from work 
and be by you earlier, but I have to schedule out my errands now, so I'll know for sure what time I'll get to you. Okay, guess you went to sleep. Good night. Make sure you send me your address at lunch tomorrow like you said you would. Bye. Good morning. Send me your address at lunchtime. Have a good day at school. I'm so excited today. Why are you a liar? You, you make me wait all week for your address, and you don't even give it to me at lunch today when you said you would. You don't want me to come. Just tell me so I can make other plans. I'm really mad at you. You were lying about this. I wonder what else you're lying to me about. Maybe I will come today. Maybe I won't. I can't stand liars. I'm so sorry, Poppy. I didn't lie. I couldn't use my phone at lunch. This is the first chance I had to text you. My address is Fairfield, Connecticut. Did I do the address right, like you asked? I'm so sorry, baby. Please don't be mad at me. Please answer me, Poppy. I'm here. Okay, I'm not mad anymore. I was just worried that you were going to send it late. Hello? Do you know when you'll be here? I'm so excited. Wow, it's longer of a drive. It's two hours away. Which house is it so I know? Is it the house with the black Suburban and Mercedes in the driveway? Huh? Is your house on the corner? Two floors, one floor, Halloween de decorations in front? Can you send me a picture of your house? I don't have a pic of my house on my phone. Are you already here? Call me when your mom leaves. I'm working. Okay, cool. Do you know when you'll be here? Around 10-ish. I leave at 8, and that depends on the traffic. It's raining today, so that usually means traffic will move slowly. I will try to rush, but you have to drive safely. Mwah. Love you, Poppy. You just get ready for me, and please don't go to sleep or fall asleep before I get there. Make sure you charge your phone. I will call you when I'm driving to you. Send me a quick picture. Hello, I'm really mad at you. You lied to me. You said all week that you would send me your address at lunchtime today, and it's past lunch. Okay, guess I'll make other plans to hang out with an honest girl. Hello? Hey, my texts aren't going out to you. Hey, call me. Send me a picture of your house. Also, call me now, less every hour, to be sure I'm not waiting outside for you. Hello, now you have me nervous that when I get there, you won't get my calls. You don't know your house. Hang on, I'm eating. Sorry, Poppy, I'm starving. My mom's black Jeep is in the driveway. Have you left yet? Yeah, I'm driving. Question is, is the town of Fairfield or just regular Fairfield? Um, the town of Fairfield. What time do you think you'll be here? It says one hour, but depends on traffic. Okay, where are you now? Still in Queens, there's traffic. Okay, I can't text for a while, but try to call me ASAP when you get reception, please. I'll keep trying. I'm so excited. I'm so happy, Poppy. Me too. You get kisses when I get there. Okay, I'm going to let you drive. Be safe. Mwah. Hey, Poppy. How's traffic? Oh, we use the back door, not the front. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Mwah. Love you, Poppy. You just get ready for me. And please don't go to sleep or fall asleep before I get there. Make sure you charge your phone. I will call you when I'm driving to you. Send me a quick picture. Hello, look at your phone. Call me now in every hour so I'm sure I'll not have to wait too long when I get there. Even though you look sad in that picture, you are very beautiful. <laughs> I totally fucked that up. <laughs> I was like, what's he saying here? Oh. Beautiful. You're beautiful. All right. I, I got it now. <laughs> okay. I know you are, but what am I? Oh. I freaking miss you. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. How do you plan on eating while she's gone? She's leaving you food, I hope. Yeah, she's leaving me. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying not to laugh, too. Yeah, she's... 
Yeah, I'll start over. I'll start over. So can we have dinner together when you come? <laughs> <laughs> I brought food for myself. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hey, what's going on? Not much. Is this Joshua? Yeah, this is Joshua. Hey. How you doing? I'm, I'm good. How was the trip? Oh, it was, it was too long. I did not want to be in that car any more than I had to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys do anything fun over there in Georgia? What's that? Did you guys do any water parks or anything like that? No, we were just with family, so I got to see a lot of my cousins and a lot of them I had never met. So I guess that was kind of uh, cool. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you live in Fairfield, Connecticut, huh? Yeah, we just... I've never been there. I've never been there. I've never been to... Yeah, I've never been to that part of Connecticut. I've been to Stanford. Is that close to Stanford? I don't know where anything is. We just moved here. Uh, from <laughs> so I have no idea. Uh, and you're from where? From Florida or something? No, I, I live in Virginia mostly. My dad was military, so we moved around a lot. Oh, that's so good. mostly Virginia. Oh, mostly Virginia. Uh, what is it, in the Army? Yeah. Uh, that's cool. I have a lot of family in the Army and Marines and stuff like that. That's cool. <laughs> I wanted to join them one point, but I was like, ah, you know what? I'm not going to do it because then they, they own you forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you're going to a bad side. No, it has a bus. <laughs> yeah, he's been in for a long time, and he's had to go on a lot of deployments, so it kind of sucks. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you're like the only child, or you have brothers and sisters? I have an older brother and an older sister, but that they don't live at home anymore. Oh, so you by yourself with them? Well, I'm with my mom. <laughs> oh, and your, and your father's away a lot, right? Well, they're divorcing, so he stayed in Virginia, and then we moved to Connecticut. Oh, okay. So it's just you and her. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You get lonely sometimes? Yeah, and me and my mom fight a lot, so I really don't... I w I'd rather be in Virginia. I don't even want to be here with her. Oh, you don't? Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's horrible. No, I didn't get a choice. You don't have a choice? No. Uh, only if you get a, one of the court. They get into something to go to court or something? Well, I think they said that I was too young. I, I think they're lying to me a lot. I really don't know. They're supposed to keep me out of it, but then both of them talk to me about it, and there's a lot of arguing. And I'd rather be with my dad, but nobody listens. And I guess because he gets deployed, then he can't has me all the time, so my mom's supposed to be more stable, but she's fucking crazy, so I'm with her. Wow. Wow. Okay. So do you ever go, you, do, you, do you hang out? Do your mother let you hang out? Um, I really hadn't known anybody. I mean, we were here for a couple weeks and barely got the house set up, and then we took off and went to, um, we were supposed to go to Virginia and so that I could see my dad for a long time. And then they had a big fight, and so we left and went down to Georgia and visited with family and then came back. So I really haven't had oh. a lot of time to meet anybody. Oh, I see. And so you get to school, and then you start meeting people. Yeah. That should be fun. School starts soon, so I, I'm kind of looking forward to it. So at least that way I'm out of the house and away from her. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah, my mother, I mean, my mother wasn't back like crazy what you're saying, but. She was a, a little, you know, crazy sometimes. So, you know, because when pa parents love their kids, so they, you know, you basically got to follow the rules and stuff, you know. Sometimes they act crazy, but it's because they love you and stuff, you know. I but uh, I kind of, I miss her being, my, I miss my mother being crazy. I mean, she's, she's not here no more. Did and, you um, get divorced too? No, she died. My mother died. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, she died of cancer. 
so oh, when she nice. died, it was like, it was, it was fucked, you know, because I'd rather have not had my father die than, <laughs> than my mother, because, you know, you're much closer to your mother than your father, you know. And, and my stepfather, he's a jerk, so he's a real big jerk. So well, that's why, you know, whatever. But you know, everything happens for a reason, you know. It was her, it was her time to go, you know. But she was young. She was like 40. Oh, wow. She was young. My mother was very young. So it's, it's scary, you know. You never know when you're going to die. You know, you could be 30, you could be 40 years old. <laughs> you know. But, um, yeah. And my, my parents never divorced. My first father... uh well, he was like my mother's boyfriend. They never got married. So that he's he's my original father, my biological. Mm-hmm. My stepdad is the one that he he he, he took care of us for for most of our lives. And I recently got to know my real father. He lives in Puerto Rico. He used to be a cop in New York. You know, and, uh, that's all right. You know. But uh, I'm not, I don't see much family, you know. Once in a while, I, I go visit my brother all the way in Atlantic City with his wife, you know. That's my little brother. He lives over there. And I have my older brother right now. Uh, and my younger sister, she lives in Jersey, where she has her own place. She's doing, she's a, an accountant. And me and my brother are electricians and plumbers. Yeah. So your brother, you're, you have a this twin. Yeah. So do y'all look exactly alike? Yep, exactly alike. My twin brother, yeah. That's My older brother, not so much. It's nice having a twin. When we go out, we get all the girls. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> when, we're not, when we're not together, we don't get our sisters, but... And when we're together, girls are like, oh, wow, look, look at the twins there. <laughs> makes, you feel, makes you feel special. <laughs> I but it, it's not, yeah, it's cool. I have two twin brothers that live in Florida and a twin, a twin brother and sister that live in Brooklyn. So we're like a twin, twin family. <laughs> oh, cool. But we're all, we're all separate. We're all separate. Well, I'm the oldest out of all my uh, siblings. Me and my brother, my older brother. Because my younger siblings in Florida, uh, they're 17 and they have kids. And my younger, the youngest sister is 16 and she has kids already. Oh, wow. We're the only ones that didn't have kids. <laughs> We're the only smart ones that didn't have kids. <laughs> hey, you sound good. It is for 15? Hell yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> Having kids at 16. So she's 16 now. Yeah, I was 15. But then again, my mother had me when I was 15, too. 14. She had my brother when she, she was 14 and also when she was 15. Oh, my God. So back, back in the 80s, it, it really didn't matter. But now, I mean, even now, too. A lot of girls have kids that are 14. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> I wasn't ready at 18. There's girls now that are 15 years old with kids. Yeah, it's important. It's like a business for them because they make a lot of money. If you work, you get a lot of money in taxes for that for having kids. Oh. It's too much. I, I like to keep the money in my pocket. And I like to have a car. <laughs> yeah. right, my brother's wife told him, oh, what do you want? You want to get jet skis or you want to have kids? Because <laughs> it's either or. You can't get them both. Jet skis are very expensive. The kids are very expensive. So he's like, ah, oh, I'll take the jet skis. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want kids. I don't want kids either. I mean, you know, maybe, maybe one day, but I, I don't know. At the same time, I don't want it because it's very expensive to have kids. You want kids? Um, maybe, maybe one day. I don't know. Hey, you're so young. <laughs> I know I don't want to get divorced. Oh uh, yeah, definitely don't want to get divorced. <laughs> I mean, but, it's hard, but I but I kind of feel for your mother because he's always away, right? He's always away. Well, he's away a lot, but I mean, look at his job. He's got a really important job. Yeah, that's true. Uh, she she knew she knew that what she was getting into when she married him. Come on, he's in the military. You know, but that, that's good. That's good. He's uh, protecting and serving. 
<laughs> I mean, uh, how you feeling? You still in our country? That's what he said. That's what before a job. You, you're right. <laughs> uh, you know how to shoot a gun? Me? Yeah. He let me one time, but... Oh, know, yeah. I, no, I figured you're, you're, you're an army uh, a kid. You know, you, you've been moving around and stuff. I figured you have some kind of uh, combat ex- experience. <laughs> how to... How to how to fight a guy, how to take away the guy's gun. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and he didn't teach me all that, so I don't know that. I'm sure when you get older, you're going to be really, really nice with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> He'll show you how to how to kick somebody's ass with, with your fingers. I'll have to ask him about that. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's a little, yeah. That's probably interesting. Now, that'll be a good thing for you because women in this country, they, they get a... Uh, I mean, there's a lot of violence towards women in this country, and that'd be a good thing for you, so you know how to defend yourself in case somebody uh, tries to start trouble. You know, I I took a little karate myself when I was young, but I didn't get into it that much. I mean, I know how to defend myself if I needed to. I think I would like to take um, karate. Yeah, that'd be a good thing for you. That'll be good for you. So you can defend yourself. It's also good for, uh, um, you know, you defend yourself in case you want to kick somebody's ass, you could do it. What did you say to me? <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. So you're into all the guys, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What's the oldest you dated? What's that? I said, what's the oldest you dated? Um, I had a boyfriend that was like in the same grade as me, so he was like like thirteen. Oh, oh okay. But we didn't start going together until like right before school ended. So and then I moved. Oh, that's fun. I bet you guys are both heartbroken, huh? Eh, we can get to see each other that much anyway, because he lived on the other side of town, and my mom was just anyway. So. Oh, that's just cool. It's other than other than Queens, other than Queens, pretty far from Connecticut. <laughs> What's that? I said I live in Queens, it's about pretty far from Connecticut. I don't know how far that is. Oh, it's very far. It's about hours. Well, if I drove, it'd probably take about two or three hours just to get over there. If I took the train. It'd probably take an hour because the train, the Metro North was real fast. I took the Metro North by accident to Connecticut, and I was there in like 25 minutes <laughs> to Connecticut. So it was it was by accident. I was trying to go to West Upstate New York. I mean, in like the uh, like uh, uh how do you call that area? Like Pelham? You ever heard of Pelham, New York? No. Uh, well, I was going, I was trying to go that way, and I ended up going to Connecticut. And Connecticut's very nice and clean. I noticed. Very clean over there, compared to New York City. I've never been there either, so but that sounds like fun. I've seen it on TV. Yeah, it's very, it's a, it's a lot to do, you know. Yeah, Connecticut. I guess I have. I never been there, but I, I hear there's nothing to do there. <laughs> My friend tells me there's nothing to do. But you go to, uh, you can get on the train and be in the city in like twenty something minutes, and there's a lot to do. There's a lot of things to do. But I, I get, I'm getting tired of New York City. I've been here all my life. People that have been here all our, our lives don't want to be here no more. They're just getting so expensive. You know, I, I'd rather move out to the country. You know, like maybe uh, Atlantic City uh, by, by my brother is very cheap. Mm-hmm. And it's nice. It's like a vacation community by the beach where my brother lives. So it's very nice. Everybody's very uh, family oriented, very nice people. They're not ruled like New Yorkers are. They'll push you. They won't say sorry. That's one thing I don't like. People that are rude. That's kind of how they were in D.C. We went up to the uh, museum, and and I don't like it. It's it's gross. It smells like pee. Which museum? Which museum did you go to? Oh, Smithsonian? Up in D.C.? Oh, Smithsonian. That's where? Up in D.C.? D.C.? Oh, I've never been there. Never, mm-hmm. ever. Well, you know what? I think I did there. I did go there because for a karate tournament. 
I never forget. I I saw the the White House. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been there once in my whole life, but I must have slept through the whole thing. I remember uh, uh, sleeping like most of the time. I had a karate tournament. I went back to the hotel and stuff. And I, I remember glad uh, images of the of the White House. It was good. Really cool. Really pretty. We went up at Christmas and got to see the Christmas tree all lit up, and it was. Oh yeah. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, you're very, you're very pretty. <laughs> are you blushing? What's that? <laughs> I said you, you are very pretty. Thank you. <laughs> are you blushing? A little bit. <laughs> good, good, good. Keep blushing. <laughs> <laughs> you can blush for the rest of the day. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, that's funny. My mom, the store isn't far from our house, and she's been gone a while. I don't know how long we've been talking, but I really don't want her to come home and find oh, okay. talking to somebody. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, why don't you send me a picture? And then, On? Send me a quick picture. In link? Uh, whatever you want. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll post you on link if anything. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hey. 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 You look so good in your pictures. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so you said you're uh, you was getting yelled at last night. Yeah, it kind of sucked. She was just uh, in crazy bitch mood. <laughs> She's your mother. <laughs> well, how are you doing? Pretty good. I can't talk long because she's home. She's having to catch me outside, so she didn't hear the phone ring. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Okay, then. All right, that's actually. Uh, are you I, I, I enjoy. I, I enjoy talking to you, though. That's nice. You know, once in a while. I guess when you can. Okay. So I'll talk to you later. Okay. Hey, text if you want to talk. Um, text me and make sure that it's good. And if it's not good, then I'll tell you. So that way, we don't <clears throat> that we don't get. Oh, I'll text you first before I call you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. 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 Can I get a kiss? Mwah. Oh, mwah. right back at you. <laughs> Have a good day. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Hello? Hey, it's me. Hey. Oh. How are w- you doing? Okay, did I wake you up? No, I don't go to sleep early. Okay. Uh, how are you doing? Um, okay, I guess I just hid today. It wasn't fun at all. You know, you know my school it wasn't fun? What's that? I said, uh, you didn't like school today, so you had a bad day? Yeah, it was, it was the first day, and I just, I don't like it. I want to be back in Virginia, I don't like it here. I'm sorry? Uh, I, I just, I don't like the school, I don't want to be here. Oh yeah, you don't like school? What kind of school is it? It's just like every normal school, but... It was just a bad day. I didn't have any friends and I didn't know anybody and nobody sat with me. Um, oh, that's sorry. That's sorry. Oh, it sucked. Yeah, you know, that happens to everybody, though. It's like just the first day of school, then, you know, as you keep going, you know, you, you start making friends. You know? Are you a shy person? You don't, do, do you go to people to say hello or are you a shy person? No, I, I just kind of did my own thing and, you know, that's all. Yeah. Yeah, it'll get better. It's it's always the first thing that makes you feel, like, so, you know, you know kind of scared, shy, you know, but you know, you're going you're gonna to like it more and more, and then you're going to do something in your friends. Hello? 
going on? Hello? Hey, I'm here. Oh, uh, fuck. I need to I'm okay. Are you sure you're not mad at me? No, I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. Why would I be mad at you? Because I just... I, it, it sounded like... I, I mean... As far as you knew, I just stopped talking, and I would never just stop talking like that. But then I had no way to reach out to you, and I was scared. And oh no, I thought you were yeah, understanding. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, your mother saying the part. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh, cool. It's better. It's different. But it's, it's not bad. Yeah. You were right. Yeah, yeah, the first three days is uh, nerve-wracking, but you know, you get used to it, then you, then you start to like it, you know? I know my first days of school, I was scared, but anyway, I got through it, it's part of life, you know? You, you get scared in the beginning, and then you get used to it, you know? Yeah, I guess it's not so bad. Yeah, so bad. I used to school before. It's just all the same thing. It's all the same thing over and over. You get nervous, I guess, when you go to school. You know? Yep. Well, you know, what's new? <laughs> not much. What have you been doing? Not much. Working, you know. Same old stuff. I don't do much. I work a lot. Um, that's about it. I don't do anything that much. Every time you take a picture, well, you're in the car. Like yeah, you know, I'm always, I'm always driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I drive so much. <laughs> I don't like to take the train. You know, I'm always in the car. Yeah. Uh, yep. Well, I didn't, oh. I, didn't have, I didn't have long to talk because they just left out, and then they won't, they won't, they won't be gone very long whatsoever. But. I just wanted to say hi, and I'm sorry, and I hope that you didn't hate me, and I'm oh, okay. I just feel, you know, glad that you're okay as well, you know. When do you, set, when do you think they go on a vacation? I don't know, but I try to, like, listen at the door, and it's something that they, they've been talking about a lot more often, and yeah. I don't know why they won't talk to me about it, but... <laughs> I just kind of listen in, and I don't know. I'm 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 starting to get excited because I think they're really gonna do it, and I don't think they're just like you know daydreaming. So <laughs> it's a dating mom. No, um, I'm, yeah. I'm not, she's not even divorced from my dad. So and we they haven't been split for very long, and so I'm really not happy about this, but. Yeah. Of course. I guess, you know, like your mother gets lonely, I guess, you know. You know, everybody gets lonely. Yeah, but it's my dad. And I'm, yeah. I'm not ready for somebody to just just move in here and just be my dad. And it's like, I don't even have, I don't even have a key for them. Nobody even asked me. Yeah, but, you know. Your mother's going to do what she want to do, anyways. Well, She's not going to ask you for permission. Huh? That doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. I don't know you don't have to be happy about it, but, you know, really, you don't really have a choice. She's not going to ask you, oh, can I have a boyfriend? <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would say no. I would tell her to her face, no. <laughs> okay. Well, you know. She's lonely, probably. She's lonely, lonely. Your father's not around that much. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've 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 watched a lot of movies and read, you know, read about a lot of that. The army families, a lot of the wives they get lonely because their husbands are away for so long, and you know, there was a movie about that where the guy was away from so long. And she said, ah. I'm going to divorce, you know, and that's kind of what you're going through, you know. You know, and she's, she's just lonely. I, I gotta go, they just pulled up. Okay, okay, bye. Okay, bye.
I need to plan. I need. I need to start planning now. I need to see how because I'm probably not going to drive up there because it's three hours just to get to Connecticut. Three hours from me. Me. I just wanted to see exactly where you are because I got to take the Metro North to you and then take the, maybe a taxi depending how far it is. You know. Okay. Because it's gonna it's gonna take three hours just to drive. I'd rather sleep those three hours on the train while you know. Okay. Okay. But um. So, yeah. I'm scared that if if I give you the address before they leave or before they get to Atlantic City, then what happens if they don't go and? Well, no, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna start heading over until they they leave. Oh, they're going to Atlantic City. Yeah. Oh wow, nice, nice. That's where my brother lives. <laughs> yeah, my twin brother. I I think I think he said it, is that like I think that's like three hours. Oh no, that's that's farther because that's in that's Connecticut. That's only three or four hours. Because from New York City to Atlantic, Atlantic City is two hours. You're in Connecticut. That's three hours from New York City. That's like easy five hours. That's a long ride. So they're leaving. What do you know? They're leaving Friday. Um, I don't. I don't know. He hasn't really said yet. Hmm. Well, well, either way, uh, you find out, and and as soon as you find out, I, I'll figure it for Friday anyway. Okay. And when they leave, I'll just ch- jump on the train. The okay. train's only going to take an hour, hour and a half. It's fast. Okay, so I'll you know? text the address when they leave them? Yeah, if you could text me, you know, tonight, that'd be great. But I need to stop planning. It's, it's a big trip for me. That's, that's far. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, can you... I was, I was, I was cool. Can you look it up just for Fairfield? Because I'm still afraid that... If something happens and she doesn't go and and then you show up and then I'm gonna be in trouble. I've been trying. Oh no no no! Oh, I'm, not gonna, I'm, not, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go until you tell me they left already. I'm not gonna start leaving until they left. So it doesn't matter, you know. Hello. Okay, I would so. I got. I gotta go. Okay. Not much. So I'm home from school. No. Hi, oh, early. You get out early then? No, I got out at like 10. Oh, did you see that already? Yes, it did. 
What's that? My, my worst fear is that you fall asleep before I get there because I'm going to think about overdrive. Think you're still at work? With the rain, it might be longer because people, uh, you know, you have to drive through on the rain. Oh. You think maybe you could get out of work early? No, nah, I'm working before. four. Okay. By the time I get to Brooklyn, it'll be five. You know, I'm going to rush. I'm going to... And I'm going to try my best, but like I said, it's raining. So okay. it's going to take long to get there. So I'm going to kind of try the latest. But you can stay up until 10 or 11. Right? Yeah, I'll be fine. Do you want me to send you a picture of the house so you know which one it is? Yeah, that was confusing me because I looked at the, the address, the street view, and I couldn't tell. There was like a, a bunch of houses there. You know. What, like on Google? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, on Google. Yeah. On Google, it'll show me. It just showed me the street. It didn't show me a house. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I'll take a picture so, and I'll send it to you. Will you call me when you leave? Yeah, I'm gonna call you when I'm in the car already, driving to you. Oh, you're yeah. go, you're gonna call be, me? It should be. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely call you when I'm in the car driving already to you. Oh, okay. And make sure your phone is charged. I will. <laughs> I don't want you. I don't want you to say, "Oh, my phone died." <laughs> and <laughs> no, I get over there and I don't know what to do. <laughs> it'll be charged, but the the rain is like I have like no signal in some parts of the house. So, text me if you can, or kick me, or try whatever because I don't I don't know that my phone's gonna oh. work. Oh shit! Just try to stay in the part of the house that has reception. Just well, I'm trying, but it it it's. Crappy with the with the rain and everything. I don't know what the problem. Oh, is. with the rain. Ooh. Okay. 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 Hold on, hold on. Just give me a second. Don't hang up yet. Don't okay. hang up yet. Hold on. Okay. I'm, I'm walking to my guy. Oh, rain. I couldn't. I believe it's rain. I thought it was gonna be a dry Friday. Like I say, when it rains, know what happens? People get into accidents, and then it causes all this traffic. You know, and on top of the rain and traffic. Hello. Yep. Be really careful when you drive up, okay? Oh no, no. I drive. I drive careful. I just say uh, I can never predict how long it's gonna take me to drive, even if it says how long. Because when people get into accidents, it causes traffic, and plus the rain on top of that is uh, it, it. People have to drive slow. It may take me like two and a half hours depending, but it, it all depends on how long, what time I leave too. Because okay. I can't leave too early because there's traffic, the rush hour traffic. If I left at 4, it's still going to take me a long time to get there. So me leaving at 7, because I won't hit traffic but the rain, that's another issue, you know. Okay, just just text me and let me know, and I'll have hot cupcakes ready. And you're going to eat before you get here, right? Yeah, I'm going to eat. I'm going to try to eat, yeah. I'll eat okay. something. Yeah. I say it's pretty for me. <laughs> but you look pretty no matter what I'm just saying <laughs> so that when I see you like oh yeah yeah <laughs> yeah so cool yeah I'm just trying to finish this next hour I'm done in at 4 o'clock so I have to drive into Brooklyn then I have to get my money and stuff and go home and shower and then drive off to you okay you know I'm going to take the shortest way possible from my house which means I had to pay some tolls and stuff, which is, doesn't doesn't matter to me. My brother told me a short uh, told me a shorter way. I have to take a bridge that's gonna take me directly into Connecticut. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, so, so hopefully I, I get there uh, within two hours, because you know two hours is like me driving to Atlantic City, because uh, you know. So your your mother probably drove, is driving to Atlantic City, and it's gonna take her like three four hours to get, just to get to Atlantic City. You know. Because from my house to, to Atlantic City is two hours. From okay. your, from me to you is two hours. So it's two hours, two hours, that's four hours. <laughs> that's a lot of driving. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I'll definitely be there later tonight. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to rush as, as, as best I can. Because remember, I have to do for a few things before I leave to you. Okay. I have to drop my laundry, get my money. You know. Okay. Well, just let me know. But I'll definitely be. Yeah, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll let you know right before I leave. Okay. I'll call you. 
Okay. okay. Bye. 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 Can you please call me? Can you please call me? Call me every hour. I don't understand. I don't know why you say you can't call me. I understand that you say you lose reception out there, but call me, call me. I'm not going to wait over there forever. You know, I'm driving two hours over there and call me. Hey, call me back. I called you earlier about four and you still haven't returned my message. I guess your your phone is not doesn't have any reception where where you are now. So please call me back because uh, I feel that if I I'm, I I am gonna drive there. I just don't want to go over there and I have to wait forever just for you to let me in. Or because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get out of my car until I know that I I get your phone call or something or you call me. Yeah. So call me. Hey. Hey, what's going on? Nothing, just waiting on you. Where are you? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm on uh, this hard to explain. I'm on the express I-95. <laughs> uh, I think I'm near, I'm in Westchester now. I think oh. I'm in, oh, actually, no, it's, it's the Bronx. <laughs> How far is that? I took that? a wrong turn. I, I took a wrong turn, that's what happened. I, I was on the highway and then I took a wrong turn and I had to kind of go around. Okay. But it, it, it says about 38 minutes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. All well, right. You said, you, said it, you said in your driveway there's a Jeep in the driveway? Yeah, my mom left her Jeep here. Okay. Okay. All so, right, no problem. Um, so, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, call you, I'll call me in like 30 minutes. Keep calling me every 30 minutes. Okay. okay. All right, I will. All right. Okay, Okay, because, uh, you know, so we can keep in contact, you know. Okay, I'll call you okay. in 30. Okay. okay. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay. Hello? Hey. Hey, what's up? I'm actually, uh, it's, it's very close because it says, uh, I got to make a, a ride on your street. A ride on my street? Yeah, okay. it says, uh, yeah, I guess, it's, I guess, I'm hoping so. It says I got to make a ride on Mill Street. Okay. Like, how many miles does that street go? How many oh, miles it, does that street go? You know? you're, you're really close. Oh, right. Yeah, look for the, the yeah, pumpkins out front. Okay. The what? The, there's, like, pumpkin Halloween decorations out front. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, all right. Okay, look yeah, for the I can pumpkin. hear you. Okay, I've got the, um, I've got the... Cupcakes in the oven. Yeah. So, um, just I'm gonna have the door unlocked. So just come in. Okay. Uh, okay. I actually. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I'll see you in a little bit. I'm turning here. Now. I'm actually turning now. So. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay. Bye. Hello. Hey, where are you? Hey, you know, you know what happened? I, I saw Mill, and I thought I was, I thought I was near you. I'm actually passing Stanford now. You're passing what now? Stanford, Stanford. Stanford. So you're, how far is that? Yeah, it's at, it's at 60 miles away. What? 60. 60 miles. 16. 16. 16. Oh, okay. Because I was when I saw Mill, but no, it's not. I, I, it took me to a highway. This highway is going to take me straight there. Sorry, right, so I should just lock the door. I prefer you to, to open the door when I get there. I don't want you to leave it open. Okay. I, I, don't have a, I don't have a habit of just walking into people's houses, you know? No, it's okay. So if uh, just so, not. So just be aware of, uh, of uh, when I pull into the driveway, you're going to see a yellow car coming into your driveway. Okay. It's yellow, yellow, like a taxi, okay? Okay. Be careful. Okay? All right. I'll, oh, I'll oh, be back hey. In like hey. Go, go. Yeah. You know where the black Jeep is that was in the picture? Pull up there and go to the back door. We don't use the front door. 
For the back door? Yeah, go to the back door. We the front the front door is blocked for the so, sofa. So, so, so when I pull it, how do I get back to the side? No, go go to the back. You'll pull in beside my mom's jeep, and then walk beside yeah. the jeep, and just go to the back door. Go to the back to the side. No, yeah, to to the side. Go. It's like to the right of the garage. You'll see a walkway. You just follow the walkway up to the back door. Okay. 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 All right. I got it. Okay, bye. Okay. Well, you'll see, you'll okay. see me, sir. Just be aware. Okay, it says, well... It says 16 minutes. It okay. says 16 minutes. Okay, I'll watch. Okay, okay, bye. Okay, bye-bye. Mm. Oh, sorry. Hi, Poppy. Mm. Connie. Mm. It's so good to see you. Oh, it, were you, did you get here okay though? Were the roads bad? It's dark out there. It's really dark. But I need you. Yeah. Oh, nice. Thank you. Those are red velvet? Yeah. Do you like them? Yeah, I like them. Do you want to try them? Can I take my picture? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What'd you bring me? I brought dinner for myself. Sorry. Oh. Because I, 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 didn't get to, uh, I didn't get to finish my dinner. Oh, that's okay. Because I was okay. kind of in a rush. You can finish. I had stuff earlier. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And then we can have cupcakes. Grab you something, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Oh, that's a nice house. Thanks. I wish I had a house like this. <laughs> Can I use the bathroom? Because I, it's, it's way colder for so long. Yeah, it's uh, right here. Kind of, you look hotter than the picture. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. I'm sorry I'm really nervous. Yeah, right through there. Oh, are you nervous? Oh, sorry. No, here, this one. Oh, oh, this yeah. I know, it's little. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's cool. It's an old-fashioned bathroom. Yep. Yeah. Is there a light switch in here? Oh, it's behind you. Is that it? Come on out, Joshua. Oh, shit. Right over there, please. Right over there. Keep your hands. Keep your hands right there. See? Okay. I know who you are. You know who I am? Yes. Who am I? I see this on a show. What show? Um, it's the show about men meeting young girls. Men meeting young girls. Do you have keys in your pocket? Yes. You take them out first. Right? It turns off the alarm. Oh, just press. So you've seen my shows before? Yeah. How often? It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. Well, guess what? We're starting up again. Okay. And you are among our first guests. Okay. What's your name? Joshua. Joshua. Joshua what? Cologne. Cologne. And how old are you? I'm 32. 32. And how did you meet this Jenna Claire? Uh, it was on an a, a app, app called Blink. And why did you think it was appropriate to talk to a girl who said she was 12 years old? I don't know why. 12? I know. It was wrong. What did you bring with you tonight? Huh? What did you bring with you tonight? Clothes. Clothes. Why would you need a change of clothes? Because I was going to stay over. Stay over? With a 12-year-old girl? Yeah. And what were you going to do with this girl? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Um, I guess, you know, I guess have sex. Have sex? Yeah. Now, you had quite the chat with this girl. It's too bad you aren't old enough. I would marry you. You would marry a 12-year-old girl. If she was old enough. If she was old enough. But why would you even say that to a 12-year-old? Yeah. Do you have any nieces and nephews, younger cousins? Yeah. Okay. Well, what if a guy was hitting on them like this? Yeah, I wouldn't like it. You wouldn't like it. So explain to me what was going on in your mind that made you think it was okay to come here and do the very same thing. I, 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 I don't want to say anything more. Well, you pretty much already said it. You asked for her address. I'll pick you up somewhere and we'll have sex if you want. I'll go slow and yes, it will hurt because she's a virgin, you said. This is all you, right? Yeah. You tell her to masturbate. 
in preparation for your big night of sex with a virgin? Did you bring condoms? Yes. Where are they? In my bag. What else is in the bag? Clothes and toothbrush, stuff like that. That's it? That's it. That's what you're going to find. Yeah, well, we'll finally make out and make love. I was thinking of staying over and leaving the next morning. So when I come over, we'll go to your room and you'll take off all your clothes yeah. since That's I'm the boss. Yeah. Why did you have her call you Poppy? I don't want to say anymore. What is Poppy? It's Latin, Latin of saying. Nickname? Yeah. You wanted her to call you the boss. And then you say, I just hope your mom doesn't find out about me because I could get in serious trouble, you know, right? I could go to jail. Yeah. I know love knows no age, but most people don't think the same. Twelve, Joshua. I know, I know, I messed up. Have you done this before? No. Have you ever contacted an underage girl online before? Yes. We have evidence of that, too. A 13-year-old. So why should I believe you've never done this before? I just the first of me you just woke take up, a chance. You woke I up a few weeks ago and said, I'm going to chat up this girl and drive from your home where? New York. In Brooklyn. In Queens. Queens. You said Brooklyn. Or do you work in Brooklyn? I work in Brooklyn. Okay. And you live in Queens? Yes. And what do you do for work in Brooklyn? I'm a plumber. A plumber. Good job? Yeah. Good pay? It's all right. Why would you toss it away for this? I don't know. What do you want people to know about all this? Really nothing. Nothing. What do you think should happen to you? I guess I have no choice but to go to jail. Do you deserve it? Yeah. I mean, can't you explain to me what brought you here tonight? No. I mean, it's not right. It is not right, I, I know. But help me to understand it. I, I don't know. I don't know what was going through my mind. You don't know? No. I mean, this is your chance to explain yourself. I, there's no way I'm getting out of this anyway, so I'm, I'm not going to say anymore. You shave down there. I like it smooth. You say you're going to groom yourself for this special event tonight. That's your car, right? Yeah. I share that car. You share that car with who? My brother. Your brother. You have a twin brother? Yes, I do. What would he think about this? He wouldn't be happy. All your family in Queens? No. My mom my mom died and my father lives in Manhattan. In Manhattan. Well, Joshua, I don't know what else to say to you. Except that yeah. I'm Chris Hansen. And this is an investigation called Hansen versus Predator. Okay. So if there's anything else you want people to know, mm. now is the time. No. No. You're free to leave. Um, can I use the bathroom? Because I've been holding it for quite some time. I think you should go. Okay. Please, put your hands behind your back. Come right over here. Put your hands behind your back, sir. Stay right there. Do you have anything in your pocket, sir? Headphones. Okay, sir. I'm gonna have you sit in this car. You slide over. Watch your head, and I'm gonna have you slide all the way over.
Nothing hidden on your person? No. Okay. You need to use the bathroom? I did, I did tell them that I have some bags in there. Where are they? In the yellow bag. Get over. Okay, but there's nothing on you right now? No. Okay. Okay. You need to use the bathroom? Yes. Okay, right through there. Um, the officers in uniform are going to do what we call process you, okay? I know you've never been arrested, but they're going to fingerprint you and photograph you. Um, when they're done, I'd like to take you upstairs if you'd like to, an opportunity to talk, you know, that's going to be up to you. Uh, you'll be advised of your Miranda rights. I think you should think about it as you're spending time down here. Because right now, we only have one version of events. We don't have your side of the story, okay? Is Josh okay, or do you like Joshua? Josh is fine. People call you Josh. Get comfortable, have a seat. How are they downstairs? Sorry. Okay. So don't, don't wait on us. We've already eaten dinner, so we're good to go. You're the hungry guy. Um, okay, so obviously you know that we want to understand a little bit about what, you, what brought you to Fairfield, Connecticut tonight. So we're hoping you can explain that to us. To meet a nice young girl. Oh, pardon me? To meet a young girl. Okay. How young? What's her name? How did you meet her? Twelve. She told you she was twelve? Yes. Okay. Just tell us a little bit about, um, if, as early as you remember, your first conversations and kind of how your relationship with, with her developed from that first contact. I don't have to answer these questions, right? You don't? I mean, I'm answering these questions is going to incriminate myself, obviously, right? It dep I mean, I don't know. I, I told you before that it's going to allow us to understand your side of the story. And we can't predict what you're going to say, so could you potentially say something that's incriminating? Of course. Could you also say something that maybe explains things? Of course. But without being in your mind and knowing what you're going to say, uh, I, you know, I, I don't want you to feel like we're trying to trick you because you're not, but we don't know what you're going to say. You know, well, I mean, I just... To be fair. To be quite honest, I mean, I was on the side of some young girl, and, and I... I came to meet her. I mean, that's, that's all I can say. Okay. Yeah. And you asked her how old she was? Yeah. And what did she tell you? She said 12. Okay. Did she tell you when she was turning 13? I don't, I don't remember. Okay. And is 12 an age that you're comfortable with? You, that's your preference? Or? I date older, younger. I mean, not younger than 12, but, you know, 12 and up. Okay. You're how old? 32. You're 32? Okay. Um, at what point does it become, like, a sexual conversation? And how does that happen? I don't know. I mean, it just came up, I guess. I guess because it was on my mind. But. Had she sent you pictures yeah. of herself? Yeah. And had you sent pictures of yourself? I, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Would you say that you were sexually attracted to her? Yeah. Right off the bat? Or was it something that developed over conversation? Or... I guess a little conversation. When was the last time you maybe spoke with somebody who was in that age group, 12, 13? It's been a while. It's a while. I never, you know, go ahead. No, I mean, I talked, but I never actually went to meet them because I was always afraid. Of what? To be like on that guy's show. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you were afraid of? <laughs> I can't say that I blame you. Uh, so his face immediately in no place. So. I mean, I don't know what else to say. What do? You, what was your intention? What do you envision yourself doing right now, if that hadn't happened? I don't know. I was gonna hang out. You know, for, uh, I guess have sex. Your intention was to have sex with her. Yeah. Okay. Did you tell her you loved her? Yes. Why? Oh, I, I guess to kind of. I want to kind of pull, pull her in, I guess, or something. To pull her in? I guess. The 12-year-old the today said yeah. that she, had, she was a virgin? Yeah. And you liked that, that she didn't have experience? Yeah. During the police interrogation, Cologne appears to come clean, and then he makes a startling admission about a previous rendezvous with a 15-year-old boy. I just uh, I want to make sure that we have everything out on the table. I mean, I did have sexual relations with someone older than 12. How old? 15. When was that? Mm -hmm. uh, a few months back. 
Okay, and where did that happen? Um, that was... That was, uh, it was like, I think it was by Long Island. And was it a similar, similar situation, Stephen, like this? Like we had met over, over the internet and... Yeah. I mean, uh, Josh? Yes. Okay. Okay. Do you remember her name? No, it's not her. Okay. Do you remember his name? Dave. David? Did you meet with David one time or more than one time? One time. And what happened when you met with him? I had sex. Is there any, anybody else? No, that's it. Okay. okay, so your phone, are there any pictures or images or videos of younger people? Yes. Is Josh okay or do you like Joshua? Josh is fine. People call you Josh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Have a seat. Yeah, absolutely. Get comfortable. Have a seat. Come in downstairs. Nice guys, right? Um, pretty painless process. So, did they read you your Miranda warnings downstairs? So, let's go over those quickly because I want to make sure that you understand them very clearly. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about your understanding of your Miranda warnings? Yeah, I have a right to remain silent, and I can't, can't say, uh, can't, uh, will be used against me in the court of the law. Mm -hmm. I have uh, a right to an attorney, and I can't, uh, I, um, I don't know the rest of it. Okay. That's okay. So, like, what does that mean to you? If if I say to you, you have the right, right to remain silent, what, do, what does that mean to you? No, so I don't say anything. Okay, do you have any questions about that at all? No. Okay. So I'm going to go through them one by one. Again, this is in fairness to you. I want you to make sure that if you do choose to talk to us, that you understand your rights. It's really important, OK? okay. Well, um, excuse me, do you mind if I take No, I want you to go ahead and drink. And, and just but pay close attention to what we're talking about, because this is very important, OK? okay. Um, you're going to read each one. And if you would, just read the first one out loud for me. I have the right to remain silent. OK, and if you understand that, can you just initial there. Then what's the second one? So we're going to go through all of them. If I talk to any police officer or anything, I can and, and will be used against me. Can't, or can't, uh, anything I can uh, say can, will be used against me. Okay, so you understand I'm that? Nervous. Okay, I understand you're nervous. So we're just going to take it easy and I want to make sure that you understand everything, okay? Yes. You understand that one? Yes. Okay, good initial. If I, I have the right to consult with a lawyer before I answer any question, and I may have a lawyer with me during questioning, I understand that. I have the right to a lawyer appointed for me if I can afford one before I answer any questions. You understand? Yes. I know that if I answer questions, I have the right to stop answering at any time. Yes. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Like if you could put that in your words. If they start asking me questions, I can stop. Pretty simple, right? Um, Not complicated at all. <laughs> okay? Uh, I may stop answering questions at any time if I wish to talk with the lawyer, and I may have them with me during any further question. You can also get a female attorney if you'd like to. So her. Doesn't matter. Okay. I'm willing to answer any. Um, I'm willing to answer questions and make a statement, knowing that I have their, these rights. I do not want a lawyer at this time. I know and understand what I am doing. I do this freely and voluntarily, and no threats or promises have been made to me. I'm, just, I'm not sure what that means. Here. Okay, so what you're saying is you're waiving your rights at this point in time. We can talk more about that if you like. Um, the reason, of course, I would be interested in speaking to you is to understand your side of the story. Because like I told you downstairs, we had one side of the story. We have conversations, excerpts of conversations, but we don't know what you were thinking, what you were intending to do, and we want to make sure that we understand everything very clearly. But you don't have to speak to us, so. Okay. So, uh, 
Yes, if you'd like to. As long as you understand it and you're okay with it, yeah. Okay. Do I sign here? Yes. That's you. Okay, do you have any questions whatsoever mm -hmm. about this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me just ask you a couple of questions here. Um, what's your, your current address? Because your address showed on your ID? Yeah, that was right. Uh, I think I recently moved. You moved to Queens? Yes. Okay, what's your address? 72 15 67 Street, Glendale, New York, 11385. Is Glendale in Queens? Yes. You always from always New York your whole life? Yes. Okay. I'm like one of the tourist ones that go in and take the S train, right? Right up to Times <laughs> Square. I've seen the naked cowboy once or twice. Have you ever seen him? No. You know, probably never go to the tourist areas, right? No. Um, that's what a real New Yorker is. <laughs> I go to Yankee games and to an occasional play, and that's about it. Uh, Josh, how far did you go in school? Uh, high school. Graduated? Yes. Okay. And how would you describe your ability to read and write? Very well. Uh, and write as well, very well? Yes. Don't, don't wait on us. We've already eaten dinner, so we're good to go. You're the hungry guy. Um, okay, so obviously you know that we want to understand a little bit about what, you, what brought you to Fairfield, Connecticut tonight. So we're hoping you can explain that to us. To meet a young girl. I'm pardon me? To meet a young girl. Okay. How young? What's her name? How did you meet her? Twelve. She told you she was twelve? Yes. Um, how did you first encounter her? On an app. What was the app called? Link. Link? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that an app that you've used in the past? No. This was the first this time? This was the only one i Okay. Tell me a little bit about Link because I'm, I'm old. <laughs> um, it's an app where you talk to people. Is it intended like... Like there's some apps and websites where it's the intention is for, for you to make romantic connections or it's, it's whatever you want. I mean, you know, just to meet people? You know, to meet people. With no talk intention. To people, okay. you know, I mean. So it's not by its nature it's not designed to meet or target a certain type of person, whether they be old, young, I mean, male, female. It's all ages there. Got it. Anyway, so if you wanted to kind of talk to somebody, a forty year old male for whatever reason, yeah, you, you can. can it doesn't exclude that. So how, what was the screen name that you were using? Her username. I don't know. I have some money. What's that? I have some money. You have other different accounts that you do that? Meeting people? Yeah, dating sites. Badu. What? Badu. Badu? Badu? Yeah. Jesus Christ, I don't have Facebook, so it's going to be, you have to be patient with me. Yeah. He's pretty slow with the internet stuff, and I'm not too far behind him. I spell Badu. What is that? B A D O O D O Badu. Okay. So you went on, you you created this account, and how soon after you created the account do you think you met? Uh, one, maybe a week, two weeks. Okay. Three, I don't know. All right. And what was her screen name? Do you remember? Just like Jenna. Jenna Arm Jenna Armstrong was more like to see. Jenna Armstrong. Okay. Yeah. And you reached out to her first, or did she reach out to you? Um, well, I, I don't remember. I mean, we were in a chat room, so. So there's multiple I, people I, there? I can't carry the conversation. Okay. Can you just tell us a little bit about, like, you know, so I don't have to, like, keep asking questions. Just tell us a little bit about, um, if, as early as you remember, your first conversations and kind of how your relationship with, with her developed from that first I don't have to answer these questions, right? You don't? Okay. I'm not going to answer. You don't want to answer that? Are you comfortable answering other questions, or...? I um, mean, do I get a, a lawyer? Would you like a lawyer? I get, I get a public defender. That really kind of depends on your... Yeah, you would apply for that, but if you would like an attorney, the then, then we're done. Then we're not going to talk anymore, so that's up to you. I mean, if I'm answering these questions, it's going to incriminate myself, obviously, right? It I mean, I don't know. I, I told you before that it's going to, 
uh, allow us to understand your side of the story. And we can't predict what you're going to say. So could you potentially say something that's incriminating? Of course. Could you also say something that maybe explains things? Of course. But without being in your mind knowing what you're going to say, uh, I, you know, I, I don't want you to feel like we're trying to trick you because you're not. But we don't know what you're going to say. You know, no, I mean, just to be fair. To be quite honest, I mean, I was on the site, I was a very young girl, and, and I, I came to meet her. I mean, that's, that's all I can say. Okay. Yeah. And you asked her how old she was? Yeah. And when did she tell you? So it's cool. Okay. Did she tell you when she was turning 13? I don't, I don't remember. Okay. And is 12 an age that you're comfortable with? You, that's your preference, or whether uh, it's something special? I paid all ages. What? I can't hear you. I date, I, uh, I date older, younger, I mean, not younger, 12, but, you know, 12 now. Okay. Have you dated someone in this age group before? No. Well, not, well when I was 21, yes. A 12-year-old? No, a 16-year-old. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. So can you tell us a little bit about how your relationship with Jenna brought, ultimately brought you to Fairfield? I don't know. If it, I told her, um, um, I don't know if I talked to her, and she had some lungs, I suppose, just so I could talk to somebody. Okay. Um, and then what happened after you met her? Did you have any other contact with her after that? No, I have my brother. Well, they're younger. He's one year older. Okay. You guys get along pretty good? Yeah. Okay. Is your dad around? He's around, but he's not alive. He's not alive? He's not a reliable person, so I don't really go to him things like this. Okay. So you're how old? 32? Yeah. That's tough. I lost my father 12 years ago, so I don't know, let me see what you're going through exactly, but I know it's tough to go through. And I have an older sister, so similar to you, but not exactly the same. Did you feel that... <coughs> Losing your mother, you know, I mean, you, you mentioned it, so obviously it's somewhat relative to... Yeah, when she died, you know, kind of part of me died with her, you know. Yeah. You know, some days I was, you know, kind of wanted to, you know, kill myself. And other days, I'm, I'm okay, you know. Yeah. Do you talk to anybody about that? No. No, no therapy or anything like that? No, they told me I should have got therapy, but I wasn't getting for therapy. You had insurance that would cover that? No. I only got the insurance in my company and I paid. Okay. So, how about your brother? Did you talk to him? No. Um, we don't really talk like that. Because you're kind of like roommates, or? No, I don't tell him I love him and stuff like that. You know. No? <laughs> you know. And I never did. I'm really never that super close. But I love him. But I just don't say I love him. Yeah. Guys are different, you know, right? I mean, everybody shows love and affection in different ways, yeah. right? But, you know, maybe your brother would be a good support for you. Mm -hmm. Does he share his feelings with you about, you know, losing your mom? No. I don't think he says he messes it, but, you yeah. know. As well. Where does he work? Same company. Okay. I got him. You got your big brother a job? Yeah. Okay. So he, he's working on a shitty company. So, you know, from where we're, we're sitting, obviously, you're you're a good guy. Would you agree with that? No, no, I'm not a good guy. Why do you think that? Because I want to meet a young girl. So. I've been doing this a long time. Do you remember my name? Carrie? Yeah. Do you remember his name? No. Of course not. <laughs> I, mean, I had to remind him, though. No offense taken. I had to remind him. But you never said it. Uh, Jason. Oh, you did. I think she said that. That's okay. Know. She spoke for me like most women do. <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing this a long time, and you kind of get a sense for people, and please tell me if you disagree, and I think that there's people that are good that make a bad decision, and I would kind of put you in that category. And if you think for a second that me or Jason have never made a bad decision, uh, think again. Okay. So this was a bad decision. And our job, I guess you could say, of course you're going to be held accountable, which 
you're clearly doing, okay? Um, but we want to make sure that we can understand. We want to see if there's anybody else out there that might be doing the same stuff. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's why we're very interested in understanding like the, this process and how you went from sitting on a keyboard somewhere to then getting in a car and, and driving to across the state line. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's why if you could just in your words, just help us to understand. That's it. That's all I have. Okay. When, how, how does the relationship go online? I know when you're talking to somebody online, you've got her name, she tells you how old she is, you tell her you're how old? 32. You're 32? Okay. Um, at what point does it become like a sexual conversation and how does that happen? Um, I just go up. Yes. This goes on my mind. Did she send you pictures no. of herself? No. Yeah. Did you send pictures of yourself? I guess I don't know. Okay. Would you say that you were sexually attracted to her? Yeah. Right off the bat, or was it something that developed over conversation, or? Oh, just over conversation. So whose idea was it to come to Connecticut tonight? Um, well, I, I really don't remember. I mean, she did mention that I was going away or something like that. And she said, oh, she, well, I, I guess, I, I'm not sure. You guys, you have all the text messages, so. Do you have any idea how many text messages there are? <laughs> There's a lot. We really uh, don't have the opportunity to go through them like that. Not yet. At some point in time, we will. You know, this has been, as you can imagine, kind of a crazy day. We, we weren't anticipating this at this level. Uh, I don't know so you know, plus sometimes, I like... Um, yeah, I for it, so that's all I can say. Okay. Are there ever, ever, are there other people right now in this particular time that you're also talking to? Yeah, I was talking to a lady on the too. I'm about to. And how old is she? She's uh, 27. She's 27. Okay. This is the only one. Right now. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Okay. When was the last time you maybe spoke with somebody who's in that age group, 12, 13? It's been a while. It's a while. I you know. Go ahead. No, I mean I talk, but I never actually went to meet them because I was always afraid. Of what? To be like on that guy's show. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you were afraid of? <laughs> uh, I can't say that. Blame her. <laughs> so I was facing meeting my new ones. What else to say? Well, what, what exactly, if you could, if you could erase um, him from walking into the kitchen today, what the what was your intention? What do you envision yourself doing right now if that hadn't happened? I have an idea. I mean, <laughs> but listen, there's a big difference between typing words on a computer and follow through. Your intention was to have sex with her? Yeah. Okay. Did you talk about like what kind of sex, um, oral sex, anal sex, vaginal sex? No. Just, no that, just you didn't talk about specific no. stuff like that? Okay. No. You wrote one thing that I did read that, that kind of caught my attention and it made me think a little bit. You wrote to her um, something about people don't understand. They look at this like age relationship thing as wrong. Do you remember writing that? Yes. Something like that. I mean, you wrote it really nicely, not not the way I just said it. What, like, what does that mean? I mean, because I'm not that my own age. You know. Do you feel like you loved her? No, no. No? I didn't. Did you tell her you loved her? Yes. Why? I don't know. I guess the kind of, I don't know, kind of pull in, I guess, or something. To pull her in? I guess. Do you feel that way about those relationships, though? 
that like they're okay, but some other people think that they're wrong? No, what way you mean? I wish I could remember exactly the way you worded it, but it was a very, it was intriguing, you know? You wrote, uh, some people wouldn't understand love between an older person and a younger person, right? Yeah. I'm just trying to understand, do you really feel that way? Or? I mean, I'm, I'm not really that much. I mean, you know, it's nice to date someone that's older where you can go out together and drink and I was feeling that I was a bit, you know, try to go to the young girl. Try to go to the why? I was, I never did it before, so. Okay. What do you think would be different about a sexual experience with a young girl versus an older person your age? I mean, an older person with more experience. I guess in, more, in some way I, I can have, I guess, the power, I guess power of having an inexperienced person? Yeah. Okay. I, when I was younger, I had sex with an older woman when I was 19. She was about 35. And she said my virginity was not like kind of... Yeah, she said she was a virgin. You know. she, she was a virgin? She said she was a virgin. Oh, Obviously, wow. she told. Um, no, oh, no, 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 oh, no, no. Oh, I think with the 35-year-old. No, 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 she wasn't. She wasn't a virgin. I was a virgin. Oh, the 12-year-old the today said yeah, that yeah. She, did, she was a virgin? Yeah. And you liked that, that she didn't have experience? Yeah. I don't understand that. Do you have an active girlfriend now, somebody you would call a girlfriend, or are you, no. you're single right now? Single. And that's why I'm on the dating side. Have you been single for a long time? About well, four years. Four years? Yeah, and since my mom died, I um, you know, couldn't be with anybody. It's hard. Yeah. Do you have kids? No. Tell me about your family. No, yeah, you know. mentioned your brother and a father that you don't have much of a relationship with. Yeah, my father is a piece of shit. Uh, oh, okay, so it's uh, worse than that. Uh, <laughs> he put my brother in a big bind right now with the IRS. Um, yeah, committed fraud. What was I going to say? Um, just put my brother in a big hole. Your father committed fraud? Yes. Were you doing identity theft or something? Uh, basically, he signed my brother's name onto the company. My oh. brother, my brother's not own it, so now the IRS came, seized all his funds, and basically my brother's broke because my father, my father's not taking responsibility. Yeah, so that's my that. father, my, my, that's my stepfather. My biological father lives in Puerto Rico, and he's a retired cop. He was a cop down there? Uh, he was a cop in there. Okay. You mentioned that when we're talking about setting a bond. Did they set a bond yet? Uh, I haven't checked. You would call your uncle? Yeah. Who's your uncle on mom's side? Uh, he's, he's my employer. Oh, okay. Do you know his number? That's the thing. It's in my phone and I don't memorize you know, these new phones. I don't you don't have to know anything. Yeah, the old, yeah, you don't have to memorize phones anymore. See, That's you very to, true. You don't have to know anything at all anymore. I know my number. Yeah. That's about it. You go. <laughs> so, yeah, I, still, I don't, I don't remember it, so I would have to go, you guys would have to go on the phone, I could tell you exactly where it is. Yeah, that's fine, we could do that for you, that's yeah, not an issue. So, you know, you're, you're smart guy, you probably already figured this out, we're going to be hanging on to your phone for a little while, okay. all right? Um, any, I don't know if there was anything that was found in the car. But the car was clean. Did you stop anywhere on the, between mm -hmm. home, other than there? I went to get gas. And then, yeah, there's a What did you buy there? Condoms. Anything else? I uh, bought this thing, patches for the mouth. Yeah? I can use one of those right now. That's <laughs> Three pack. What's that? Three pack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, <laughs> what CVS did you stop at? Um, Fresh Palmer Road. It was in New York, right? In New York, yeah. So how do you see this, like what do you think should happen with you with this? I, mean, I don't know what the next boss, what's the next step. So they told you what you were charged with downstairs? Mm, it's three counts or something, yeah. 
Um, there were three separate charges, and there was uh, a criminal attempt to commit sex assault in the first degree. A uh, criminal attempt because you didn't actually sexually assault somebody, but you, the crime had there been a 12-year-old girl and you had sex with her, that would have been a sex assault in the first degree. Okay? Criminal attempt to commit risk of injury to a minor, which is just risk of injury is just any any kind of crime really involving a juvenile in Connecticut. Okay. Can't see that one. Which based on her age and your age makes it a crime by definition. Okay. Uh, and then enticing well, a minor, which and that's what you you know, basically doing what you did over the internet, some of the things that you said and correspondence fits that statute. So that goes hand in hand. So what happens now is um, they'll put a bond on you. Like I told you in the car, it will probably be pretty high. Uh, what was high? 10,000? Uh, probably higher than that. Could be more. You know, the, issue, the issue you're going to have, unfortunately, is that you don't live in, in the state of Connecticut. So the issue and concern would be that if you were potentially to get released, whether it's on a bond or a PTA, that you know, it might be a struggle to get you to come back. So that's part of the problem, you know, that may have the bond being. But we'll find out when we're done here. That will be priority number one. We'll find out what the bond is, and we'll let you know. And you'll be able and to make phone so calls to try to... And, and if I can't get the bond paid? So what happened then is you would spend the weekend with us, Friday night and Saturday night, and you'll go to court Monday morning. And that's, you mentioned in the car, a judge. So you'll see a judge on Monday morning. You'll have an attorney, a public defender assigned to represent you at the arraignment. From there, um, they'll do an assessment to see if you qualify for a public defender. Uh, if if you can afford your own attorney, you know, then obviously you're free to do so. But there'll be a series of court dates that you'll have to come back for, typically like six to eight weeks apart. Okay, that's if you bond out. If you don't bond out, then you, you stay in custody until you can either reach a bond. How, how does the bond work? Um, so let's say the let's say they put a hundred thousand dollar bond on you. That means you have to come up with a hundred thousand, which is a lot of money. Lots of people don't have that, including me. Uh, or you can use a bondsman. Are you familiar with how that works? Mm -hmm. A bondsman typically requires 10%. Sometimes at a higher bond, they'll do it for a little bit less. Um, so you would come up with $10,000, um, and they would put up the rest of the money, believing that you will you will continue to appear in court. All right. So let's see what we can do. I mean, obviously, you've been completely cooperative. Here you are talking to us. Um, All that factors in. It does factor in. Okay, but again, on the other hand, the charges are fairly serious, and you do live out of state. So, okay. And every time I come to court, I have to come all the way out here, right? Yeah. You go to Bridgeport, which is actually the next town up, right off the highway. All right? Okay. Do you think that you need help in some way? Is this, does this having this happen to you, like the worst case scenario, do you feel like maybe is, uh, you need so help? No, it's, I mean, I don't know if you've seen the movie Scare, the show Scare Straight. This is I basically mean, this, it right now? You're scared straight? Right now, I'm not going to go through this ever again. I think it would be really, it, I, it, would, it would make me feel a lot better. You know, obviously uh, an investigation now is going to happen after the fact here. We're going to look into your electronic communications with people. If you've had any contact, any communication of a sexual nature with people, you know, younger people, now would be a really great time for you to tell us about it. I mean, you're going to see it anyways. Right, but it saved us an awful lot of work. <laughs> and the lower, lower the bond the more? It's not necessarily that lowers the bond. It shows but your cooperation it, it, level, certainly. Listen, right now you're the one telling the story. You're the one that gets to paint the picture. We have to be the ones to dig and find this information, and all of a sudden we're kind of writing your story from that point forward. You have an opportunity to do it now and explain it now, as opposed to us doing it. So that's you know, this is an opportunity for you to do that if you want. In that same website area, that same chat area. No, it's not Which one is it? Uh, I don't know. You mentioned links already. You mentioned Badu. Yeah, but Badu, they're all... 
about oh, that's the that's old, old, over a certain age. Oh, you, just, well, that's you have to rate the old or over a certain age? Could it be Whisper? That's one that we're more familiar with. Have you heard of that one? No. No? I mean, I did have sexual relations with someone older than 12. How old? 15. What was that? Uh, a few months back. Okay, and where did that happen? Um, and was it a similar, similar situation, Stephen, like this that we met over the internet? And yeah. I mean, uh, Josh? Yes. Okay. Do you remember her name? Yeah, her. Okay. Do you remember his name? Dave. David. Remember anything about where he lived or? Um, he lived alone. He lived alone his, parents, his parents lived in China, and they sent him here to school. So he lived with another family? No, he lives in some other house, a friend of the family, oh, well. but he lives alone. Okay. Do you still maintain contact with David? Uh, I haven't heard from him for a few months. I mean, so he's still in China because last uh, time, in um, the summertime, he, was, he said he was on vacation over there, and I haven't heard from him since. Did you meet with David one time or more than one time? One time. And what happened when you met with him? Yeah, can you, I know it's a little bit embarrassing or whatever, but can you go into a little bit of detail about was what, what was it? Oral happened? sex? Was it? It was, it was oral. And, and he penetrated you. You penetrated him. Penetrated him. You don't remember David's screen name by any chance, do you? Mm -hmm. the app that you used to communicate with him? Uh, he's on um, some, you know, some Tangle, something like that. Tangle? Um, you'll see it on Tangle. Okay. Do you remember anything at all about his screen name? No, I just saw it as David. And he told you he was 15? Yeah. Is there any, anybody else? No, Again, um, these things come out, and I know this is uncomfortable for you to share this stuff. It's really important that, you know, you said you're scared straight, right? <laughs> that we get everything out right now so it can all be reconciled right now, and you don't go downstairs back to the holding cell thinking you held something back, right? Yeah. Did you go, where'd you go to school? I went to school in the city, St. George Academy, Is private that school. Christian Academy? No, that's Catholic. Catholic? Okay. Is it the same Catholic school? Plaid uniforms? Well, the boys wanted to wear plaid. Yeah, the girls have to wear plaid. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, you know, I just, uh, I want to make sure that we have everything out on the table so that when we go to talk to the prosecutor, we can say, you know, this is a guy who, who, who kind of put it all out there and shared everything, that there's not going to be any surprises you're not going to find. You know, he put it all out there and, and trusted us to do the right thing with that. Because I don't, I don't think you're a bad guy. I don't think you're a monster. I think that um, you're trying to fill a void I think that obviously losing your mom has left a, a tremendous absence. Is that accurate? And I think that people, when, when you lose, what's that? I don't know, I'm not a psychiatrist. Well, when you lose something, you want to feel that. You want to feel that emptiness. With something else that makes you feel good. Your mom loved you, you want to feel love. It's, yeah. it's a natural thing, right? We just want to make sure that no one is getting hurt in the process. And I don't think it hurt anybody, but... Do you think what you're doing is okay? No. Do you, do you feel before these things happen that they're wrong, or do you think that they're okay before they happen? Like, sometimes people can rationalize in their own no, mind. I feel, I feel like it's wrong before I do it. So what do you and think? 
When you communicate on these different apps, are they all on your phone? Yeah. Any laptop or a computer, no, iPads? No, uh, I use everything on my phone. Cool. Are you friends with people that you know do the same thing? Like, have you talked, like, is there a buddy that you have that's like, you know, you perhaps talked about some of these things and you guys help each other find these different apps or you know, this is a good one to go to if you want to, is, is that no, happening? Well, yeah. We okay. From, so, oh, you know, from a woman, go, go on that site. And I, met, I met my wife there, you know, stuff like that. So, so I was like, oh, why not? Let me try it out. How about friends that share the common interest of younger people? No. Do you no. talk about this with anybody? No. Never? Never? No. Because sometimes there's like, um, you know, chat rooms where you can go where people have common interests. And I didn't know if that was something. No. Not that that was. I, I never told that to anybody. Was, I mean, that was all secret. Hmm. You gonna call your brother later on? No, he have a phone call, right? No. <laughs> we'll give you a couple phone calls. Yeah, I'll call him because it's all my call when we share the car together. He's gonna be worried. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, as soon as she gets back, I'll run, I'll run, uh, I'll have her grab you some. You know, the main thing that you need to understand um, is that you know the people that we have to worry about, Josh, are the ones that don't don't tell us things, or aren't, aren't honest. They're the ones that will be steadfast in their denials and the lie and do anything to keep being secret, you know. Yeah. Those are the ones that are really the problem because they wear the masks all the time, you know. You kind of take your mask off in a sense, right? Yeah. You've opened up to us a little bit. Yeah, you've opened up to us a little bit, um, you know, which we appreciate, A, because it does make our job easier and, and in a real selfish sense. And B, um, it really gives us some insight as to the kind of person you are, which is what we're trying to figure out, you know. And the court is going to want to know what kind of person you are, and the prosecutor is going to want to know, and so all that factors in uh, to what happens to you moving forward, you know, to what you're going to have to answer to, and how it's going to be dealt with, you know. So I think you're doing a good job. I know it's not easy. Sitting in that seat is not. It's not an easy seat to sit in. Yeah. That does seem like. Uh, Doing this tonight was a little bit of a struggle for you. I can see that there was some, uh, you were struggling inside a little bit with it, you know, even from some of the uh, messages that you sent. It seemed like you knew it was wrong, but for whatever reason, the, the urge uh, the urge was greater than, uh, you know, the, the, the devil and the angel situation, you know, right on the shoulders, and yeah. this, the devil was a little stronger than the angel on this one, you know. Yeah. So it would seem. The main thing that we can't express enough is that uh, if there are other, other people that you've spoken with or other people that you've seen and we're going to find it, um, it really is in your best interest to... Yeah, I told you. To yeah, I know. And it seems like you have. I'm not saying that you're lying. I'm just saying it's just I want to make sure that you have a real clear understanding of that, you know? And it seems yeah, like... Yeah, the only person I've had sexual issues with. And did, is it, would it be fair to say that since you already kind of had an encounter like that once before and you already traveled to someone else like that once before, that could that have been part of what made this situation a little bit easier? Would help maybe the devil win this time because you already kind of did it once and there's a, a, a comfort yeah. level? Would that be fair to say? Yes. Yes. Because okay. that would make sense, you know. Um, 
what wouldn't make sense maybe would be that this was your first dry run, you know, to travel such a distance and, and to do the things it took to get here and what have you, and to maybe a pretty bold thing to do if you've never even done anything close to it before. You know, it'd be a pretty big jump. But it makes a little more sense that you got it. You know? I think that's her comment. I think you want water. Hey, can I? Can you just grab him one of the water too? Actually, can I just ask him a couple questions? Uh, yeah, are you comfortable being alone? Yeah, okay. yeah, we're good, right? As long as you're good, I'm good then. Um, okay, so your phone. One, two, three, you know where I'm going, right? Hmm? Is passcode protected? Like with the pattern here? Can you just show me um, what the pattern is? Um, the letter L. <laughs> so start here and go down. Okay. That way? That's it. That means something? I put all the easiest thing to, to put because they have so many passwords. Don't you? Right? You just want to keep it simple. And how about your iPad? Uh, iPad. That's not work iPad. It's the passcode to get it. Zero, 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 zero. Okay. I can, even I can remember that one. Yeah. All right. Um, so again, you know, obviously this stuff is going to get looked at. Is there anything that's been deleted or are there any photographs on there, videos on there that you're concerned about at this point in time? Yeah, I have my pictures of myself. Private pictures. Perfectly legal. Yeah. Okay. Are there any pictures or images or videos of younger people? Yes. Anything? I got them off the site. What site? Link. Link? Okay, and, and can you tell me a little bit about that? You just go on this profile and you can just save the image. Are they saved in a particular folder or? Well, if you go to gallery, you're going to see them pop right up. And kind of give me an idea of what we're going to be looking at. Boys, girls, Both. about what age? Both. Boys and girls? Yeah. And what age group? I guess about 12, 12 around there. Okay. And older. Twelve and older? Older. Twenty-five, well, so as well. Um, are there any hidden apps on your phone? Or any hidden files or anything on your phone? No. Are you a tech guy? Are you kind of like more like me? And what's his name? Jason. <laughs> what's my name? Carrie. Right. Even though he called you Steven, you're allowed to get one wrong, okay? <laughs> no hidden folders, nothing like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you, if you had to kind of give us a very specific date of when you met David, as yeah. best you can. It was before the summer. Excuse me. April? Maybe and you had that particular yeah. car that you had? Yeah, you had that car that you have today, the yellow one? Yeah. And you drove that to his house on Long Island? Yes. Okay. He was home. What does David look like? Where does he go to school and anything like that? He's Asian. He's <coughs> Asian. Chinese, Chinese, Chinese. And did he know how to do it? Yes. And I'm not the only one he said. He messes around with a lot of guys there. Okay. Was there any kind of exchange of money or gifts or anything like that? Mm -hmm. or yes. Just a consensual encounter? Yeah. That was consensual. That's what I said. Um, is there anybody else that you want to talk about? No. Mm -hmm. okay. Alright, so you have a pretty good understanding of the, the process, right? Yeah, I guess. Okay. I don't know what's next, but We've asked you all the questions. Why don't, um, why don't you ask us some, some questions? Um, I don't know what to ask. Anything at all? Do you have any questions? I don't know what's the next step. The what court. Happens? We talked about the court, right? You'll go to court Monday. That's on Monday. Yep. So you're going to spend the weekend here. And 
you know, if he made a couple phone calls. Basically, the way we work, I mean, this isn't a, a huge department. We're a relatively small department compared to what you're used to. If you're a gentleman, which you've been, you want to make a phone call, you're going to get a phone call, okay? If you want to make four phone calls, you're going to basically get four, within reason, with it, you're going to get four phone calls. The problem that we're going to have is we can't let you have your phone. Yeah. So we're going to have to come up with a different way to... Well, I can, I can tell you which numbers I'm going to call. And okay. Where they are. Fair enough. Fire away. Okay, so um, first number is B, and uh, Lewis is my brother. That's the section. And um, Z section, Edwin Vasquez. Is, uh, I, I have it under Eddie Spaghetti. <laughs> Spaghetti. Is it V-A-S-Q-U-Z? Well, just put a, a Eddie Spaghetti. That's that's the that's my employer, my uncle. Okay. And B, how's Lewis under B? Um, B. Um, what do you mean? It's L-U-I-S. Alright. And he's under B? B section. Why is he under B? That's my, my, family, my close family. A being. Oh, you have like full, like, okay. Got it. Who's an A? Yeah. Chicks. <laughs> Chicks come before family? Yeah. Okay. So B, you're going to find Lewis, and Z, wow. He doesn't rate too good, huh? Okay, let me, let me give you a moment. Go ahead. Uh, um, you asked me if I was talking to anyone else. Mm -hmm. I was. Uh, she's in the A section. Naomi. She's 16. And she lives where? I just where? remember. Um, she lives in Long Island. Okay. When did you start talking to her? A while back. Um, I was about two or three months ago. But I never met her. I never sent any explicit photos. We just spoke. All right, we'll get you uh, Eddie Spaghetti's number so, and your brother's number. Once we know, once we, yeah, once yeah. we know your bond is, we'll tell you. And the, issue, the only other issue that we're going to tell you is that when you make your phone calls, because of the nature of this investigation and the way it's, it's, it's going, <laughs> um, you can't say what your charges are. You can just say what your bond is. You can say that you've been arrested uh, and that you're at the Fairfield Police Department in Fairfield, Connecticut. Um, but you can't get into the nature of the of what's happened or what the charges are for now. Yes. We're obligated to tell you what the charges are. You know. Everyone else doesn't need to know. That's great. Thank you. All right. So that's the way it has to be. Um, you said uh, uh, I can call as many people as I want? Or well, well, I mean, yeah. We're within reason. I mean, it's not going to be a parade. Just at least call my father just to let him know. You know your dad's number? Yeah, another one. It's uh, 917 6536. The first call you'd be able to make, the primary one would be in relation to your release. If it, once you find out what the number is, if you think of yeah, somebody you can be, call, it'll be Eddie's, Eddie's to try to make that happen. He would be Eddie's Spaghetti. Eddie Spaghetti would be the first call. And then beyond that, you may have to wait a little bit to make that second one. Okay. okay. And I was like, my brother because he's about to worry. Yeah. Was right. he expecting you home tonight? No. That's all going to be gone for the weekend. Where'd you tell him you were going? Where'd you tell him you were going? To Connecticut. To? To hang out with a girl. Okay. Did he ask questions about that at all? No. Pretty normal stuff? Yeah. And he's like, hey, don't worry. So be careful. Okay. All right, good deal. Very good. All right. I'm you want to take a few more fourth pulls of that before we bring you downstairs? Yeah. Because I'd love to be able to, I'd love to let you sit here and eat all of it, but we're not going to be able to do that. So okay. don't, don't choke on it, but have, you can have some. This is your 32? Mm-hmm. What town were you born in? New York, New York? Mm-hmm. Yes. It's okay. And the birth date is... All right. 
So as far as um, when I ask my uncle if he can whatever, I'm I send about how does that work? You guys take the phone from there and you tell him where I am, or you can tell him where you are. Um, I'll tell you what. Why don't we try and figure out right now what the bond is, okay? Okay. And that way you will have an idea of how you know how you want to formulate the, the conversation with Eddie Spaghetti. We're going to need um, your phone and iPad passwords. Got it. Got those right. I'm just going to pass for this. Okay, you too. Just look at it online. Oh, I don't have one. I just don't want to just use it. I don't have anything crazy in it. Hey, it's Carrie. I'm sorry. Um, do you have any idea what we're doing with uh, Bond for Mr. Colon? <coughs> hey. Hey, what's up, Mike? Um, what, what's the situation with Bond for Mr. Colon? Um, for what it's worth, uh, Lieutenant, he's been very cooperative, and you know he's he's made some admissions of some other stuff that uh, that was helpful to us. Okay. All right. So you were considering a million, but you're going to knock it down. Okay. Is it all right? Yeah. Very cooperative. Okay. And I, and I also mentioned him about like phone calls. How. You know, maybe NYPD Blue, they say one phone call, but if he wants a couple more phone calls. All right, cool. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. -bye. So, we had arrested somebody recently for similar charges, and we had put a bond on it of 500000 The judge increased it to a million, 1.1 million, but, and that's what he was considering for you, but with the cooperation, I think he kind of had an idea before he talked to me, he's going to make it 750000 which is very high, but, you know, but how does the bond work? They, they put the 750 and what happens? They get it back or they don't get it back? If you put up 750000 I can only tell you, like a typical scenario, you get it back unless for some reason the court assesses that fee. Now, a crime like this, there's t typically not what happens, but I can't promise you that they wouldn't take a part of it. Um, the bondsman, if you go down the bondsman road of 75000 you'd have to put up give or take 75000 That's that's gone. That's their fee. That's how they make money. All right? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously you're probably going to spend the weekend here or bond like that. I don't know a whole lot of people that could that could make that. The judge could also potentially lower it too. Well, that didn't happen in the previous case. You mentioned in fairness <laughs> that previous case had some nuances to it that are far different than yours. So there is also the potential of him lowering the bond, so you may be dealing with a smaller bond after you go to court. Yeah, Monday. They could reduce it. You go from 750 to 500,000, which obviously, if someone could help you, could save them some money. So maybe worth waiting. But that's a decision you're gonna have to make when you make your call with your family, whoever you call. Just something to think about, obviously. I'm gonna try. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Still hungry? Can I get some more water? Yeah, I'll give, you, I'll give you one more cup of water and we'll go down, okay? Pretty sure. When we go back downstairs, you know, we have to put handcuffs back on you, okay? We'll keep them on. We'll make sure that you're comfortable. You've been very much a gentleman. So, I don't get the bond, I'm obviously going to say it will be safe. Yeah. And quarter, quarter Monday. Right. And then what happens after that? 
just got to keep calling the court. If you don't make bonds, you would stay in the custody, so you would stay. Um, it wouldn't be here. You wouldn't come back to Fairfield PD. You'd go to probably Bridgeport Correctional. You'd go to the jail, and you'd stay there. And every time you have a court date, they're going to bring you back to court. Also, I'll be there for... for uh, if you don't bond out, you could be. Yeah, if you can't make bond, you stay in the custody, and that's... The bond is like um, the way that we make sure that you come back to court. All right, so you've got an interest in coming back to court. So, but if you can't make bond, yeah, they, they don't let you go. All right, so that would be then until your case is completed. Which would you say is a few months? I mean, it, it, it's impossible for me to say. It could go, if you go and no agreement is reached with your attorney and the prosecutor, you could, seal that up you could go to trial. You can make a deal before the case goes to trial. There's a, there's a long, long road ahead of you, okay? But it could potentially be a while, maybe even a year. I got rent to pay. You got oh, rent to pay? All right, so I think we're pretty much concluded with, uh, with our interview here. So I'm going to have you just sign right there. Acknowledging that the statement was voluntary. At any point in time, Josh, if you have questions, um, I want you to know that Jason and I are available to you. We'll be here most of the day tomorrow, or I will be. Come in tonight. If there's anything else that you think of that you want to talk about, mm -hmm. then, then you could just reach out to us, okay? Okay. All right. Handcuffs. I have. Let's do it. You go this way? Yeah. You done?